is the Glass Cannon Network. What's going on, everybody? It's Gen Con Day 4. I have no idea how it is already day four. And it's, it sounds cliche to say this, like, oh, it goes by so fast. This has been a whirlwind. The fact that it's going to be over in a few hours is just, it blows my mind. Uh, but we still have some more games to play. And for the next two hours, we're going to be diving back into the Marvel Multiverse role-playing game. We played this... Uh, on Glass Cannon Labs a few weeks ago. We made characters that we then took to San Diego Comic-Con. <laughs> we got to play at San Diego Comic-Con, which was amazing, this uh, adventure. There's gonna be a, a prequel to the uh, adventure that they're going to release. This like six books, six book adventure. But anyways, we, we didn't get the books because there was only like two copies left. Now they had them at Gen Con. They brought them by the uh, booth for us to keep and they are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, to go along with a really, really cool game that we are loving more and more every minute. Yep, I cannot wait to play it again. I'm so excited. Yeah. I mean, this is and, like... And, and, to, and to have Sydney here is so cool. We're sorry that Matthew couldn't make it, but Sydney it hasn't played it yet. So I'm like, no. I'm excited yeah. to see what she thinks. I'm like, so just, excited. And also this book rocks. <laughs> it's so fun to just read. All of these Marvel characters, I was trying to decide who I wanted to play. It's, it's very like doing exciting. shopping. Yes. It is. So it's, like, yes. it's like shopping, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we're going to do today is we're going to actually, uh, rather than use the characters that we made, I was like, oh, for the Gen Con show, let's let everybody pick whatever Marvel character they want to be, and I'll just come up with an adventure to throw at them and uh, let them show off their powers. Hey. So let's actually talk about who everyone chose uh, while Sydney is still choosing. No, I chose, <laughs> I chose. Uh, Skid, who are you going to be playing? Uh, I went with a character that I have wanted to play slash be for my entire life. <laughs> The Juggernaut. The Juggernaut. Oh. Now, was the Juggernaut ever uh, on the side of good, or was he always a villain? No, he, I mean, he initially was a, a villain. Like, he was always a big rival of Charles Xavier, a foe of the X-Men, traditionally. But in recent continuity, and I didn't know this, uh, but he has, like, become some, somewhat of an anti-hero, become more, like, empathetic and try to resolve like some of his issues that he had. So he, he is actually like can fight on the side of good now. So really? That's is, a fun bonus. Is this, is this because fun? of Krakoa? Yeah. Like everything that went down that's there? What I'm uh, yeah, I guess so. Because he's not a mutant himself. Uh, he's like he got his powers from the gem, the mystic gem of Sidorak. Uh, but right. because of his like he was stepbrothers with uh, Charles Xavier and they had this rivalry growing up. His, his own father like favored his stepson Charles like over him and was abusive to him and everything. And so he just always blamed Charles Xavier. So his fo the focus of his ire was always on Charles Xavier and by extension, the X-Men. So he's associated with mutants, but he's not one. Oh, that's interesting. So, I didn't know that. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'd have to, I, if Nick were here, he could tell us probably. <laughs> Let's call him up. I'll call him. Call him up. <laughs> uh, awesome. I want to get into everybody's powers and stuff uh, in, a, in a moment. But first, let's just get an uh, overview of who you're playing today, Nora. Uh, I am playing Jennifer Walters, yes. also known as She-Hulk. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Uh, one of my favorite series that have come out. Uh, and much like the series, I too will be doing some fourth wall breaking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> have you watched the series? I haven't seen yeah, it. Yeah, it's great. I it, love it. It's good? It's so funny. Uh, great performances. It's you know, also addresses a lot of, uh, you know, feminist issues. So mm -hmm. it's, it's great. I love it. She's a lawyer, right? She's, She's a lawyer. lawyer. Yeah. I'm a lawyer. She's a lawyer. <laughs> She's a green lawyer. She's a green <laughs> lawyer. Now, what's the story behind her? Because I don't know her origin. Like, is she just like, she high-fived Hulk and got sick? <laughs> Or what, like, how uh, did she Bruce Banner's cousin? Almost. It was, she's, she's Bruce Banner's cousin. Okay. And uh, I think from what it says here in her backstories, I think is a little different from what they did in the series. In okay. the series, they, they do, like, she's in a car crash, and, like, some of his blood gets on her. To open her wound. She open like an wounds. open wound. Really? And that's how she inherits the, the uh, you know, that, that's, that um, you know, his traits. However, she, because they, they shared similar similar DNA because they're cousins. However, 
The difference with her is that she's able to like control, like she doesn't change, uh, like her, her, her mental capacities, I guess, yeah. don't change uh, when she hulks out. She's able to like, yeah. you know. So she's she like can, smart Hulk. When yeah, she, she can yeah. she Hulk and then be a lawyer at the same at time. At the same time, yeah. So she's like trying cases while she's giant <laughs> and green. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I'm <laughs> no. just a simple green lawyer. <laughs> <Just> simple. <laughs> uh, I have not seen the show, uh, but I've just, I've heard a lot of really good things yeah. Yeah. about the TV it's show. It's a great, it's a great Yeah, it makes series. me want to check it out. So you will be my introduction to she Hulk. So. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. I hope. I hope I do it some justice. <laughs> it's, kind also, <laughs> it's also day four of Gen Con, so I don't know. <laughs> you don't know what you're going to get. <laughs> I think it's crazy that it was just his blood got on her open wound. I imagine Hulk's blood got on the open wounds of several other people. But the she shares his because DNA. Because they have, the DNA, they have the, okay. the DNA link. That's the Marvel loophole. Yes, ah. <laughs> that is that is the, the caveat. Old She-Hulk. Uh, I'm, I'm playing me today. Oh. Um, Sydney, who are you? Play. I'm so excited. This was my first choice, too, because we're playing a certain rank um, of, of superhero. And immediately uh, they were like, yeah, we're not we're not making our own. And I was like, oh, I I really want to play Storm. Ah. And ah. she's just one of my favorites. Too. I love the X-Men. Mm -hmm. I love Storm as a character. I love her abilities and her powers. Um, and it was perfect because we're playing rank four and she is rank four. Rank four? If I couldn't play her. I was going to play Squirrel Girl, but she's Squirrel Girl. a lowly rank three. Yes, she's not powerful, <laughs> so. though, unfortunately. Yeah, we talked about the ranks a little bit in the uh, character creation stream, and then again uh, when we were at San Diego Comic Con. But like uh, a street level hero like Daredevil is rank two. We're going to play rank four characters today. You were rank three uh, with the characters you created, which were yeah. still pretty powerful. They're awesome. I mean, yeah. they felt super powerful. It was That was great. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like who else is a rank three. Uh, 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 like Miles Morales is rank three. Jessica Jones okay. is Jessica a Jones rank, is rank is a rank three. three. Um, yeah. And then you've got like Dormammu and Captain Marvel, who are like six. Yeah. Doctor Strange, who are rank six. Thanos. Thanos is rank six. Thanos yeah. is rank six. You know, Thor, I think. Is Magneto rank six. is six. Yep. yep. Yeah. Charles was, Xavier is rank six. And you kind of said it. I think you said it well last night. Where like six is like. Galactic. Yeah. Like, well, no. There's actually a level above that. Like oh. Galactus is like off the scale. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they're so, they're like space. Well, yeah. yeah they're just yeah, like. Isn't Captain Marvel like a very high rank? She's rank yeah, six. She's six. six. Yeah. Yeah. Six. yeah okay. She's six. I was texting with uh, with CJ, who uh, is one of the uh, what is he? What is his actual title? I don't here? know what his title is. Book. CJ he is rocks. the producer and project lead yes. on the multiverse role playing game. And I said, like, do you have like stats for Galactus? Because I was going to throw oh. Galactus in. <laughs> and he's like, so, but we're actually working on that, and they have like. Rank X heroes, right? Right. That do something completely different. <laughs> That's what because, like, in the original Marvel role-playing game, that was like I think there were the two highest ranks I think were Shift X and then Class One Thousand. I think and there might have been like a Class Five Thousand about that, but that was just like Shift X was just like this is off the charts. Yeah, because Galactus yeah. can just grab Storm and pop her. Like yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, awesome. And what? How does Storm get her powers? So Storm, it's interesting. She was just like basically taken in by Professor by Professor Xavier, uh, but she and I didn't know this. She came from a long line of witch priestesses yeah. in Africa, Ooh. and she was orphaned after a war uh, in Egypt. And basically, she lived on the streets of Cairo as a thief. Mm -hmm. And then Professor X took her in. So I kind of and only she was worshipped as a god too for a while she, in Africa. Before yeah, she's she, like a queen. She's like a, yeah. a goddess. I did not know. Um, this. And I didn't know that. I basically only knew her from her X Men like origin with X Men. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's fascinating. I also learned in this little backstory in their book. So apparently, and her name is uh, Monroe. Uh, what is her full name? Alor a Laurel. A Laurel Monroe. Yeah. And it says that Monroe fell in love with and married the Black Panther T'Challa. Which I didn't know. I didn't know that either no. because I, when I was a kid, the, the, the Marvel, the, the Claremont continuity, she had a really uh, compelling, interesting romantic relationship with Forge, oh. who's also class. I, was, I thought about playing Forge too, so that would have been Well, that, that would have been, been cool. interesting. I've like, always loved Forge, but yeah, that's, I, I had no idea. But that. apparently it says the conflict between the X-Men and the Avengers led to their marriage being annulled. So I wonder oh. if it was like a long time ago and then they were like we can't do this our our, wow. our lives are too different yeah uh but that was fascinating to me but yeah. yeah so they say she's a force in nature uh that she's regal she's a queen but she has a real sharp sense of humor as well so mm -hmm. hopefully i do her justice yep that's crazy that the church got involved to annul the <laughs> way yeah right 
right? No. I'm sorry. Uh, hey, it's legally it's legally binding. They yeah. have to get it annulled. The Vatican like held They're not sway above. over the Avengers. They cannot they, have superhero teams married. Could you imagine? Like, it's like Portugal and Spain. It's like the, you know, the Treaty of uh, Could you imagine Tordesia, Storm or? talking to the Pope? Yeah. <laughs> Just like... Uh, Your Holiness, I implore you. <laughs> Joe, uh, you jumped immediately on who you wanted to play for this. Who are you uh, being? Yeah, who, I think who you si- being? I think similar to Skid, who was like, I have always wanted to play this character. I, I mean, the list is so extensive. There's a hundred pages of hero character sheets. It is so much fun. Like we said, to just it's shop. Awesome. And rank, choosing a rank does narrow the field pretty greatly. It like, took like a fifth of the characters, or I mean like four fifths out right away. But like I, I zeroed in and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to overthink this because I truly have always loved this character. And I went right through the front door and was like, I am playing Wolverine. Mm. So, oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So I am yes. playing Wolverine. Joe so we got Storm and Wolverine. Oh, my God. Uh, which is awesome. <laughs> yes. And then, of course, uh, Juggernaut. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, man. this is interesting. I don't know yeah. how it's going to play out. I actually... Uh, this is like a weird defenders lineup or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very uh, strange. But to, to to be fair, you know, by way of disclaimer, like I have not read the X Men in thirty years, and I don't know anything. I mean, I read things on Wolverine's character sheet that shocked me that have happened in the last thirty years <laughs> uh, to this character. But um, so yeah, forgive me if I'm not up on the lore. But I also don't know a lot about Juggernaut. I I, I, I know the name, but I don't really know like. Do you know anything about a specific history with him and Wolverine, or if they were just you know enemies because of X Men, or they're basically just enemies because? But they're not like rivals, like a saber tooth would be, or something. No, like that. I mean they basically they sort of became they just they fought so much. I think just because of the X Men Juggernaut sort of situation, but yeah, it's become like there's some like iconic fights, and I remember there's like because one of the things, and this isn't in the stat block, so I don't know if this, but like uh, Kane Marco. Like, he has this, uh, you know, his trademark sort of bullet-shaped helmet mm-hmm. that he wears, which uh, is a, it shields his brain from psychic interference. Mm-hmm. So, the, specifically to, to protect him from Charles Xavier. And so, I know there was, a, I, there was a comic where I remember specifically, like, Wolverine, like, digging his claws into the seam under the helmet to pry it off. And that being awesome. a thing. And then he also has like a skull cap with the, with the same properties under that helmet as like a secondary layer of protection. Whoa. Wow. Um, but uh, he really does not like Charles Xavier. Yeah. Like it was, but I just, I always loved Juggernaut. It's just, it's very, like, very simple. You know, it's very cool. I love that he finally showed up in the second Deadpool movie. That was pretty <laughs> awesome. Um, but I always say like, I love like larger than life, physically larger than life characters, and like Juggernaut is one of the most iconic ones I could think of. So. I wonder if if we'll play it like like you're in and out of the family, you know, and you're back, and we're like, um, oh, yeah. all right, I guess Juggernaut's on our side this time. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, he's it's in a like, better mood this week. Like Magneto too. Magneto's yeah. the same thing. Like sometimes Magneto is like the off their the greatest handle. enemy, or and sometimes like, he's teaching the new mutants. Yeah. He's like the he's the head of the school. So that's a good way to put it. Yeah, yeah. So when we did the uh, game at San Diego Comic Con, Matthew gave me homework uh, <laughs> because I wanted to play a mutant. And I had never heard of Krakoa, like, because I hadn't read the, the comics. And Matthew was like, all right, here's a great intro to Krakoa, and et cetera. And it was the um, uh, House of X uh, series. So I started reading that. And Magneto's in that from the beginning, sort of building the first, like, uh, the first reveal of Krakoa to the world as its own, declaring itself its own nation of mutants and stuff like that. And he's just so great because he's obviously allied. Magneto, I'm talking about. He's obviously allied. He's obviously on their side. But he's also so obviously willing to be the bad guy, like whenever it's needed yeah. in this new arrangement. You know, so when he's talking to senators or whatever about negotiations, he's like, these negotiations are over. Like, yeah. you're going to do what we say or we'll just kill all of you. Like, <laughs> it's just so great. You know, the diplomacy goes out the window. Yeah. He tries for a little bit, and then it's just like, no, no. I am Magneto. I'll do whatever I want. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Uh, yeah. so, I will say, too, that Juggernaut was not my initial choice for a character. My idea was, and I, I ran this by Nick. I was like, would it be okay <laughs> if I played Spider-Man the first thing I do when we start the adventure is he goes over to New Jersey, takes the PATH train, and he buys a gun. Oh, <laughs> my God. Because then he would rank up? Yeah. 
<laughs> Nick assured me that Marvel would not find this as funny as I do. Uh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, probably I had to nix that. I just think it's so funny. <laughs> I thought of it to swing it. <laughs> Spider-Man with a gun. <laughs> Spider-Man with a gun. No. I think, but, but I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm doing In New York City. In New York City. Well, let's talk about the powers that you do have. Uh, you know, we, we went over this in character creation. You have these things called traits, um, which are, you know, they, they give you little boosts. They could give you a boost due to your damage multiplier, a boost to certain attacks in certain situations. Um, some of them are built in and some of them are situational. And then you've got your powers, and that's your bread and butter. And I think at rank four, you've got 16 powers. Uh, and some of you may have taken, uh, or some of these characters may have, like, traits that have given them an extra power or whatnot. So. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, kind of take a, a, a quick gloss over at what your individual powers are. Uh, Joe, let me start with you this time. Uh, Wolverine, what, what can he do? Oh, my God. It's so much. It's so <laughs> much because he's like, uh, you know, he's just such an incredible physical specimen of, like, melee, uh, and, you know, melee fighting and brawling. So his powers are... They, they are partially in martial arts, but partially in melee weapons, which are two different categories of powers. And then he just has basic. So he really just has basic martial arts and melee weapons. But when you add them all together, uh, he is a terrifying beast. So uh, I'm not going to do all of them. We'll see them you know, in the, in yeah. the game, obviously. But uh, you know, things that I can just rattle off that make sense even just hearing them. Fast attacks, focused fury, furious attacks. Uh, unstoppable assault, vicious attack, whirling frenzy. Every one of these words makes you think of the images you've seen of Wolverine, yeah. but they all have different mechanical choices and you have to spend focus to use each one of them in combat. So you're choosing when to use each one, which is fun. <laughs> he has healing factor. Healing factor is every round you regain hit points equal to your resilience. Every round. What is his resilience? Uh, five. Okay. So in, oh, wow. in or out of combat. What's the name just, of it? Because there's a healing fact. Oh, no. That's his healing factor. Right? It's like when he gets cut, it just seals up. I'm yeah. curious. Yeah. How much health do you have? What do you start with as Wolverine? Uh, 150. Damn, that's a wow. lot. Wow. That's way more than me. He's got yeah. 150 health and he heals five every five seconds. Wolverine is <laughs> very OP for a fourth rank Super That's hero. why yeah. I chose him. Yeah. <laughs> Man. But I mean, he has so much health. The thing is, he, he doesn't have as much focus as most people. Oh, no, wait. He has 150 focus. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's what the is, hell? He is amazing. How is this melee you? seven? Does he have a seven melee? Yeah, what's uh, your melee, dude? Yeah, he's a seven melee. Yeah. So what what's, bad ab what's bad about him? What's his weakness? Uh, logic. Okay. He's, he's real dumb, and he can very... So logic... <laughs> he's a big it's dummy. Not, it's, not, it's not that he's real dumb, and it's perfect for Wolverine, and this has been like... I've seen this exploited in the stories and in, in the comic books and stuff. He can be very easily mind-controlled yes. and taken over. Like, if... Because if, uh, his ego is one and his logic is one. So if somebody comes at him with mental attacks that'll be attacking against his de mental defenses, he is super weak to that. So. Yeah. That's something that, that you know I'd be afraid of uh, yeah. if I were him. Uh, and then iconic weapon, adamantine claws. Of course, yeah. Nice. You yeah. know what that does, Troy? Was plus one damage multiplier. So it gives him a Ooh. whole other plus to multiply the damage. It's just amazing. So wow. what is this? Is this times eight? Is this is this uh, damage? Uh, no, oh, it's no, no, it's no. times five. He's oh, times rank five. four, okay. so you, it's time you, your melee damage times four. That's your right. base. And uh, the adamantine claws make him times five, oh. so he oh, quadruples nice. his damage. Oh, I see. Uh, his damage or his melee number on a roll, uh, or I'm sorry, the damage number on the die on a roll. Uh, and then there's one more thing that I just read. I don't remember. I th oh, I think it's attack stance in martial arts. If he takes a round at the start and concentrates on his attack stance for one round, as long as he concentrates on it, all of his attacks. Uh, double his damage bonus. So his oh, plus wow. seven to damage becomes plus 14 on every strike. Let me like quickly just adjust the damage reduction of the enemies I have uh, yeah. given you today. Uh, wow. That's oh, gonna... and he has damage reduction because of his adamantine skeleton. 
so he has one damage reduction. So he reduces any enemy's multiplier by one. So yeah, I love I'm so excited to play this guy. He's I love the way DR works in this game because you almost everything has a damage multiplier. You know, you could be your if you're using a ranged weapon, it's your damage times four. So if someone has a damage uh, reduction of two, you don't just take away two damage. You, the multiplier goes down by two. So instead of times four, it's times two. It's huge. It's a huge. It difference. is huge. So uh, that's one of the things I like about the game is just is these kind of extreme swings. Yeah. Which, yeah. which are appropriately like thematic for like comic book stuff it's totally. great it's it's uh, yeah I, yeah we were uh i'm not going to spoil anything because i want people to watch that san diego comic-con show when that get, if and when that's uh, published on youtube the uh the way that you would go from like easily trouncing people to a superhero being basically unconscious almost in an instant mm -hmm. it was really fun and exciting and just, you know yeah it's it's like it's like reading a comic book the way that the the swings go and that damage multiplier came into effect huge yeah. because we fought regular enemies and wiped the floor with them. Then an upgraded enemy and it was DR2. We're like, all right, so we're taking two uh, points off of all, like every yeah, 40 this, this points massive hit damage that we do. Like you're like, no, 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 no. Your modifier goes down too. So yeah. instead of doing quadruple damage, you're doing double damage. A, you're halfing your damage. It's a huge difference. And it made the fight really, really, really hard. So anyway, yeah, I, I, I really dig it. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it either because I think we're, we're trying to get that out. Uh, give me a, a quick overview of Storm's powers because so, I think you were a little worried that you're not as powerful, but I bet you... No, no, no. It's, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not worried about Storm. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, it's interesting. So obviously Storm has these like insane, they call it elemental control. Uh, she's got elemental barrage, elemental blast, Elemental burst, elemental ricochet, and these are all like it's all lightning. Yeah, uh, yeah, all lightning. Uh, which, or electricity. Electricity, yeah. Yeah. Um, so they're all, you know, it's yeah, kind every, of every there's like there's a few different energy types, and each one has a different critical effect. Oh, interesting. I yeah. wonder what my critical lightning. Effect is. I think a critical you stun. I think you stun your I think opponent. You're right. uh, yeah. With the lightning. A space within. Yeah, energy is blinding. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. energy is blinding. Fire. Scroll up. Fire everything. like sets them on fire. That's and, dope. Uh, yeah. Which, and then, yeah, I think lightning is stun. Um, so she has all those. Uh, she also has weather control, which yeah, is baby. really cool. Like, it, it seems subtle, but with certain, you know, enemies, it could make or break it. Um, weather chill and weather warm, she can drop the temperature uh, of, like, miles of an area to as low as, like, zero Fahrenheit or raise it to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. She's such a theatrical hero. Well, this is what's <laughs> cool. So she has all that, but also she has a foreign ego, and she is very ego driven like yeah. as a as a character so she has a trait called beguiling uh, and she has an edge on uh, ego checks to persuade someone who could be attracted to her oh right oh, which cool. is fun wow. and then she also has presence which is also ego checks um, that involve getting people to pay attention to me uh, <laughs> or like voluntarily do things for me uh, which is really fun and interesting and then beyond that her basic powers uh, she has flight huge uh, she can zoom around. Uh, and then she has some other stuff like discipline and uh, un they call it uncanny. And she basically, because of her ego, she her mind is protected. It says protected like a tank. It's damage mm -hmm. reduction for focus. Yeah. yeah. Uncanny, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so yeah, some, some really cool stuff. And she doesn't have like a weapon, but she is the weapon. So. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, she hawk we need a. We got two toughs over here. She yeah, yeah. the bruisers. The yeah. bruisers are on this. Yeah, so uh, this is a cool, such a cool team up. She Hulk and Juggernaut. Yeah, yeah. I love yeah. that. I love it. Finally. I love that. Uh, so so very. She Hulk. I I love because like she's your like classic melee character yeah. in like in an RPG system. So she's. Uh, in her, I, I loved seeing the the actual stats for um, for this character because I was I was curious about like what her size really is canonically um so it like irl in her like human form she's 510 and 150 pounds but when she hulks out goes to 67 and 700 pounds yes. <laughs> yes. 700 pounds <laughs> of pure green muscle 700 pounds <laughs> which i like that it just makes me happy like i just i never get to play like just like a clobbering you yeah know, yeah it's you great know. it's so I much love fun it. I love it. Um, but, she, you know, she has a lot of people, if you're familiar with, like, you know, the Hulk, she's got a lot of the same, uh, she's, you know, the Hulk smash. Um, she gets to clobber people. She gets to do this thing, which I love in this book. I, when, I, when I was looking through for my own character creation, I was kind of bummed that I didn't have the strength or the size to, to take on this. But she does this, uh, um, 
It's a quick toss where you basically just pick up somebody and just throw them into somebody else. <laughs> a little fastball special. Yeah, yeah. with Wolverine. <laughs> yeah. You could oh, do, you oh, could do it with Wolverine. Yeah. Fastball special. Oh, that's special. fun. Yes. That's, yeah, so yeah. much that's fun. That's the picture in the book is, is uh, Colossus. Colossus throwing Wolverine. Uh, yeah. Just claws out. He's like, ah. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, I just turned to it. <laughs> yeah, there it is. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. That's great. You can do that. Yeah. yeah. And then another, you can do that. Another thing I didn't, like, know that she could, that she was, like, do so well as jump, like, her jump height and jump oh. speed. Um, so, for your basic, like, running stat, like, it starts at, I think, five, like, five, you know, spaces or whatever is, yeah. is your running speed. Uh, yeah, Wolverine's run is five. Yeah, so uh, my run is a six. So her jump is a twenty-four. Oh Shoot. my! Wow, just God. insane. Because you can like you know jump and then just like stomp down on the ground. <laughs> it's just freaking amazing. Um, but one thing I didn't know: one of her tags um, is Green Door, and it says here, after being killed, the character can come back to life by passing through the Green Door, a portal that connects uh, a part of the afterlife to Earth. This makes them effectively immortal. What? Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. And this is I mean, something for gamma mute, uh, mutates only. So because of the gamma radiation that she went through, for some reason, this makes her essentially immortal. It, I'm freaking flabbergasted. Yeah, Nick, didn't was, know that. Uh, Nick was explaining this because I was I've unfamiliar with this. it. Yeah, Nick was talking about yeah. when we were in San Diego. He was like explaining. Yeah. But uh, I, well, and if you didn't know, Sydney, uh, same thing for the X-Men. Same thing with anybody with the Krakoan trait. Yeah. Oh, we have it yeah. too. No, it's oh. different. Well, that's it's, it's, like immortality. What the X-Men have is, uh, it's under the Krakoan trait. You can see it in the book, but it's basically, yeah. you can be resurrected through the, the powers of the mute that the mutants have now, but you are changed. Like right. something is off something when you Something happens back. when you they come back. They will be changed yeah. in unpredictable ways. Right. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That oh. is cool. Yeah, it's very up to date. Yeah. Like if you're, if you're, you know, I'm sure it has plenty of the classic tropes as well, but this is as up to date as possible. Um, let's talk about Jug. Jug's over there. Juggernaut. Oh, the Juggernaut. I'm the Juggernaut. <laughs> um, yeah, so Juggernaut, he's just, uh, I mean, he's, he's super strong. Uh, that's that's the uh, mighty is the ability that uh, applies to super strength in the Marvel role playing game. So there's ranks of it. There's like mighty one, two. He's mighty four, oh. uh, which I think you are too, right? Are you mighty four? Uh, mighty, yeah, you're mighty yeah, yeah. four as well. Mm -hmm. So that's about as strong as just like a regular uh, hero can be. Um, he has uh, so he's got the battle ready traits, which means it just gives him extra focus. Uh, he's got the Berserker trait, um, which is when he takes a certain amount of damage, he has to roll an ego check. I think it's an ego check. Um, or, and if he fails, uh, he goes, he goes berserk and he like can't stop. He can't use ranged attacks, but he has to keep attacking and he gets bonuses to his melee. Um, but he can't stop. Um, he also has, uh, he has determination, which I think gives him edge. Um, if, he, oh no, if he's demoralized, he can continue to act hmm. normally. Um, and then he has fearless, which gives him edge against any fear causing effects. Um, and then he has just a bunch of, uh, of like strong guy, um, powers. He has the quick toss, um, and, uh. Yeah, a bunch of other ones. Oh, and he has the uh, the bands of Sidorak, which is so the 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 mystic gem of Sidorak, which he found when he was a mercenary, I think, in Cambodia. Uh, this is what granted him his powers as the Juggernaut, and the bands. Other heroes have this too. I think Scarlet Witch has this, mm -hmm. but the bands of Sidorak basically they're they're like uh, wristbands, and any attack that deals less than thirty damage to him is ignored completely. So it's ignored awesome. completely? Yeah. <laughs> Not, just ignored. That's cool. Wow. Huh. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, how are we going to get these four heroes uh, together? Uh, I, I think it, Juggernaut's going to be the toughest one, but I've come up with an idea that I think is going to work. Basically, you have all received uh, invitations. Uh, maybe they're physical invitations. Maybe they're emails. Uh, it's 2023. You could have, I'm sure Juggernaut has a cell phone. Uh, <laughs> Does Juggernaut have a cell phone? It's anyway, so well, small. Where does Juggernaut live? I have a cell phone. Now, <laughs> now that I'm reformed, I live in a warehouse in uh, 
in uh, East New York. <laughs> <laughs> East New York. Yeah. Wow. Well, you receive uh, an email uh, as well. Maybe your address isn't public. Everyone receives invitations. The uh, Metropolitan Museum of uh, Modern Art. Uh, Metropolitan Museum of, is it Modern Art? Yeah, MoMA. Yeah, the MoMA. MoMA. The, the MoMA is, uh, has, uh, they're, they're doing a, an exhibit that's celebrating uh, America's greatest superheroes. And uh, it also uh, will include uh, exhibitions on the villains as well. It's this mm. whole thing. It's taking, taking over the whole MoMA, and you are all uh, being invited to, to see your display, basically, and to take part in this. Um, and Juggernaut, uh, you're invited as well. And so, hey, uh, thanks. We don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a hero now. I'm, I'm from reform. <laughs> I want to fight for good by killing people. That's the thing too, because I don't have the. You probably all. I think you probably all have the heroic trait. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that mean that's really cool. So for those of you who haven't aren't familiar with it, haven't seen the SDCC show or whatever, if you have the heroic trait and you knock someone out with an attack, you reduce them to zero. Instead of killing them outright, you reduce them to one hit point and they go unconscious. If you don't have that trait, you kill them. I don't have the trait. Oh boy. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Spoiler alert, neither did he in Sid. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, let's see what happens. You show up, uh, each of you arrive one by one at uh, 11 West 53rd Street in New York. Maybe you take the subway, maybe you take a giant cab. Um, Let's have uh, I hitchhike. Let's have Storm uh, roll up first. Obviously, Storm flies there in Storm fashion, uh, and she, you know, does her slowly land thing out in the front to make her big entrance. Eyes are white, <laughs> and uh, she lands, and then she just smiles, waves, ego boosts through the roof, <laughs> flips her hair. <laughs> all right, all right. Do you do Thank any cool uh, weather effects or anything to herald your arrival? No, they asked her not to. Stop, okay. make it rain. They said, stop, that, make they it said rain. it would create, it create panic. I can't stop. I'm stop. Cloud. One cloud. Stop. Okay, one cloud, and she <laughs> makes like a little cloud. Oh, maybe clouds there too. I love cloud. <laughs> They're just all. I love cloud. <laughs> they all lose their mind when you make a tiny little. Uh, do you know cloud? cloud? Does anyone know cloud? The Wait, hero? from Final Fantasy? Oh no. No, no, no. Uh, there's a, there's a Marvel hero called Cloud who is in like one of the manifestations of the Avengers. No. And no. They, they were like a mist, and they would they would sort of alternate between male and female like forms what? Like all the time. That's oh, yeah, awesome. I'm looking really really cool character. Really oh cool well, character okay. Right for Storm for sure knows Cloud then, and yeah. I'm sure uh, they were hanging out earlier in the day. Yeah, you guys yeah. got dinner. But Cloud yeah. wasn't yeah. invited. Yeah. Cloud wasn't invited. And you got a BFF hat. They're too level. They're too Storm Cloud. Yeah. Storm Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I ship it. Storm Cloud. <laughs> yeah, every time we we hang out together, people are like Storm Cloud, Storm Cloud. <laughs> Storm Cloud. <laughs> Storm's kind of like don't associate me with everybody I hang out with. You're too low rank. Uh, you're too low rank. Uh, but no, she goes inside. She's very excited to see her her uh, exhibit. Uh, and then up next, uh, we'll have Wolverine arrive. Uh, <laughs> Logan, are you uh, are you in the trademark yellow suit? They did want you to dress up and make a big deal out of it. But Logan, he marches to his own beat. Yeah, no. He does not show up in a superhero outfit. Uh, yeah. He's going to show up in... Um, he's going to show up in a tux. Oh, he shows up like dressed for the event, as as if he was like a guest or something, and uh, he steps out of. <laughs> he gets off his motorcycle. <laughs> He's riding on with a tux right on. up to the red carpet. <laughs> right up to the red carpet, uh, and uh, yeah, so he gets off, and he, uh, you know, he as soon as he steps off and steps onto the red carpet, he just like he stretches his shoulders and like grabs at the thing around his, you know, the collar on his neck and just gives it like a. You just see that he's miserable. You know what I mean? He's just like... <sighs> Maybe and, uh, and one of the aides uh, that's working the event comes over to you and is like, oh, Mr. Uh, Mr. 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 Howlett? Mr. Wolf, what, what do you prefer? Log Logan? Wolf? Logan's fine. Mr. Mr. Logan, um, we, uh, we, 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 had, we, we were hoping you would dress in the, in the outfit. So we, we have... Um, we have several different outfits that Come have on. been sized perfectly for the you. The brown one, the yellow one. Yeah, um, would you maybe like to ch change or, or no? And he's petrified. <laughs> Asking you this. No, I, I'm not interested, thanks. Okay, all right. Yeah, no, I'm sure that'll be fine. That's fine. Um, just maybe right this Enjoy way. the party. And he just like walks past. <laughs> <laughs> Logan, Logan, Wolverine, Wolverine. And they're trying to get pictures and you don't stop on the step and repeat. 
And then uh, we will have She-Hulk arrive. Is she all hulked out? Or is she uh, no. Uh, Jennifer Walters, you see her in this like kind of billowy like looking summer dress in an Uber XL shot from the, uh, <laughs> you know, an interior shot from the car. And she's just looking at her, how long it's taking to get there through the app. <laughs> she looks directly to camera and is like, man, it would have been faster if I just jumped over. <laughs> and then like you see the car pull up from the exterior, the door open slowly and you just see this like massive green muscular thigh <laughs> in a black stiletto heel step out you just see the thigh first and then the dress has become this like black mini dress oh, on she's, her. In, is, she's in uh, she's all hulked out with her green hair flowing <laughs> amazing. amazing i love that it shrunk because yeah, she got shrunk, yeah, bigger course. yeah Miss Walters, Miss Hope. <laughs> They're uh, interviewing you. Yeah, smiling, smiling for the uh, people taking, trying to take selfies with her. <laughs> Can you tell us about your latest case? No. <laughs> <laughs> you should know that. No, I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> Attorney client privilege. <laughs> That's right. I can't speak about anything. I can't about comment it. on an ongoing investigation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then finally, uh, the juggernaut shows up. How do you, you ride like a little kid? Everyone bike? starts screaming. <laughs> Run. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Doom. Doom. <laughs> Doom. <laughs> So he shows up. Uh, I think I think he walked there. I think he walked from, from Brooklyn. East New York. Yeah, he walked. He walked from Brooklyn. Um, Tiny little Starbucks in his hand. Yeah, oh my God. but he. So he's wearing his like superhero slash supervillain costume, but over it he's wearing sort of a makeshift tuxedo um, that he made himself, uh, and it's made out of like a bunch of black tents like stitched together. And he has this little like bow tie like around his big round helmet, and uh, it looks it looks rather comical. And he's he lo he's, he looks like he's trying very hard. Oh. And uh, it look but it looks very funny. As <laughs> uh, someone tries to interview, uh, Mr. Uh, sir, Mr. Sir, what um what, what what are you what are you doing here? We haven't seen you at an event like this before. Oh well, I, I'm reformed now, so. I thought I'd like to hang out with my new friends, the superhero gang. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, you enter. And inside uh, the museum, you can walk around. There are uh, there's artwork, there's sculptures um, that are inspired by uh, each of you, as well as like uh, you see maybe photographs or, or paintings of famous battles that have happened all over New York City and all over the world, uh, really glorifying the heroes. Uh, Juggernaut, you quickly realize there isn't a lot of stuff that sort of commemorates your work uh, <laughs> since it's been mostly destruction. <laughs> yeah, I think he's like looking at all this stuff and it's like dawning on him um, how, how much like how much damage he's caused and like that his, the, the, the evil part of his life and it, it's, uh, it's bumming him out. Uh, Wolverine, you are there for maybe 15, 20 minutes. And you see... <laughs> it's bumming about. <laughs> you see uh, Storm, uh, your old pal, fellow X-Men, Storm. She's looking at an ice sculpture of herself. <laughs> and keeping it from melting. <laughs> yeah, every so often she just like refreezes it. Um, what's her name? I don't remember her name. Uh, her name Aurora is... Aurora Monroe. Yeah. Aurora? Aurora. 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 Just be like, hey, Storm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he calls me by my just name. Storm. We're good friends. Yeah. Dude. Aurora. Hmm? He says as he comes up. Well, 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 if it isn't Logan, I did not think you would come. Yeah, I didn't either. You look, um, you look. You really did it up. You did the whole thing, huh? Well, they asked us to. They, you do everything somebody asks you to? <laughs> no. And she, like, redoes the ice. You gotta admit it, it is kind of clever. An ice sculpture? It's cute. It is. It's good. Uh, was it Bobby? What? Yeah, Bobby. Bobby Drake. <laughs> Iceman. Yeah. Oh. Is it, Bobby, yeah. is it Bobby's work? I actually, I think it is. Yeah. I, got uh, us yeah, all. I haven't seen him yet. No, there's a, there's a lot of people here, though. Yeah. Have you uh, talked to anybody else? Are you making your rounds? Holy shit. What? 
I see his juggernaut walking in. Oh. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. Like, and he walks by like a Ming vase. <laughs> like, yeah. There's something such a body, like, it says it shakes. He's like, oh! He's like reaching out to like, Mr. grab Mr. it. Mr. Fantastic just like reaches out <laughs> yeah. and grabs it. <laughs> it's just like, uh, sorry, sorry, Reed, thanks. <laughs> nice to see you. What the, the hell is he doing? He's, you didn't hear? <laughs> He's got, he's, a little, he's got a little cocktail. <laughs> God damn it. He's got a little Manhattan. He's, um, umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> he's reformed. Yeah, him and Charles, they made up or whatever. Oh. Yeah, he wants to work with everybody. He's trying to get in. Yeah, he looks so natural. Look at him, blending right in. Yeah. I mean, we should... <laughs> a little cocktail. I feel, I feel... I feel bad. I mean, nobody's going to talk to him here. We should. Yeah, no, everyone's avoiding him. We should go over there. Come on, it's it's good PR. Let's get a picture. Come All right, on. You lead, you lead. I'll follow. Jug! <laughs> and he's like, oh! And he's like, waves his like, giant hand. Like, <laughs> hey, big guy. Hey, O'Rourke. Is it all right if I call you O'Rourke? Yeah, I don't know if we've ever formally met on um, just talking terms. Well, no, I don't think we've ever actually spoken, but yeah. uh, we've exchanged uh, a lot Many of a blow. Uh, violence between the two of us. <laughs> yeah. I just want to say, and he's like super like embarrassed. He's just like, I want to say, I'm real sorry for all the times I punched you and your friends and tried to knock down the house you live in and yeah. all that. I, Well, I, shucks, I just feel like uh, lower in a snake's belly about it. I don't know why he's southern. <laughs> I kind of like, like that he's southern. Yeah. Uh, hey, water under the bridge. We're all here tonight to celebrate each other, right? Yeah, hey, uh, hey that's a nice way to think. But, hey, Wolfie, I'll see you over there. You can't hide from me, old, uh, old, old buddy. <laughs> yeah, you little greedy Canuck here. And he like kind of tries to like chuck you at your shoulder, and he just like just knocks you backwards a few feet. And you just hear, tink. Yeah, tink. <laughs> ah, <laughs> man. Oh, that always did hurt. Yeah, I guess we're now. Always... He's Johnny Cash. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting there. You're getting there. <clears throat> oh my God, it's Jennifer. And you see, like, she's staring very intently at this uh, large painting that's uh, in front of her, and she has this very sour look on her face. And you see from like the perspective of, of uh, her facial expression, and then it cuts to the actual uh, the painting. And it's a painting of her, but they've they've made her into this like 1960s style, like uh, you know she's got this like bikini almost that's about to tear off of her. Her boobs are like way bigger than hers in real life. <laughs> like a Frank Frazetta, like yeah, painting yeah, it's just something. like <laughs> like looking at this very misogynistic like oh interpretation God. of her that's like. <laughs> She just doesn't know like what to think of it, and she just like slowly backs away, and then here's bumps in, bumps in, bumps in, dude, just like with her little glass of champagne. Hey, oh, whoa, oh, hey, hey, I was coming over to say hi. How's how's it go? Wow, I don't remember the last time. I know we saw each other. I know we gotta hang out. I o- we always say this too. It's like, right? well, oh, oh, and my then gosh. I know I'm so busy with work. Well, some <laughs> somebody's busy saving the day for the people. I know. Can you tell me about the case you're on, or uh, I, listen? Between, you know that I can't. No, between between you and I. Yeah, he did it. Really? Yeah. All right. Well, don't say that around some I mean, of the some people would. Well, we'll talk about it when we hang out. <laughs> oh. Um, no, that is a flattering painting. <laughs> <laughs> and and storm Logan. storm look. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Classy is the term that comes to mind. Yeah, oh, classy taste, piece of work. Tasteful. That's, tasteful. Yeah. That's what they. That's what they did for your exhibit. <sighs> I haven't even walked over to mine. You're not interested. <laughs> I am. We should go see his. <laughs> ju- ju- oh. I think and Juggernaut. <laughs> I think he's always had a crush on she. <gasps> <laughs> so he's just like Aww. real kind of like almost like trying to hide between the two of you but oh he's like God. three times as big as you so like what, are, what, are, what are you doing Doug I, hey, uh, I'll just look, look over met, this uh, painting over here have you met Jennifer uh, I, I you listen you can't I can see you <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, uh, hey Hi. I didn't see you there uh, Miss Walters is it uh, you can call me Jen Jen <laughs> J- Jen I, uh, <laughs> I, I can't believe I haven't made your acquaintance. I have is never. It, is it just Juggernaut or? Uh, you can call me Jugs. 
<laughs> or okay. uh, he's jugs? looking at the painting. You could just call me Jug. 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 This is so embarrassing. So, he's like, oh, I mean, uh, I'd be real flattered if you called me Kane. Oh my God. Okay. Kane? <laughs> It's great to meet you. Good night to meet you, too. We were all going to, you know, go over and see Logan's exhibit. Um, oh, yeah. Jennifer, you want to? I'm wanna... sure going to, you know, be a little. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's go. Uh, how, Chuck... how long is this thing? How old? Do you know what the, the ceremony is? Well, is they're there having some big. What time does it start? Logan, I don't know. They're having some big thing. I'm sure they're going to, you know, clink the glass soon or whatever. And at that, you hear ding, 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 ding. What did I tell you? And oh. uh, <laughs> there's uh, announcements of the loudspeakers. Please join us in the atrium uh, for the uh, revealing of uh, the, the main exhibition that's about to be revealed. So you all go in there, and uh, it's like this circular room with several balconies uh, leading up so that there are, uh, you can you could stand up there and look down, but everyone is here below, and there's a, a big video screen and a podium, and the guy is uh, basically explaining, uh, thank you all for coming here tonight. This is a, a momentous occasion. Uh, I'd like to thank, and he just thanks a, a bunch of people that have contributed uh, millions of dollars to make this exhibit happen, and he says, and now we would like to unveil to you uh, what we consider to be uh, uh, the future of uh, museum uh, museum exhibitions around the world. This is a, a once in a lifetime uh, thing uh, that uh, Reed Richards uh, has helped us uh, to create and uh, they lift a big uh, Who's Reed Richards? Uh, Mr. Oh we, we would we know who that is. Everyone except Joe yeah, knows we, who that is. Uh, and <laughs> we he, literally had a comic book industry legend explain this to you at STCC <laughs> two weeks ago. And it didn't take. <laughs> they lift a big curtain and there are these four um, sort of like animatron they look like animatronic statues that are moving, but their bodies are all made out of video screens. And oh. so uh, he's like, Is this watch. arcades work? Did arcade put this together? <laughs> they say, watch what we can do. And he presses a button, and they all come to life and turn into different heroes. So it starts out that they're oh. all the Fantastic Four, and they start like doing all their... Like holograms? They're like, they're like three-dimensional holograms. Wow. Um, he's like, wow. Hey, you can see this. Uh, here's the Fantastic Four, and then here's this. And it shows four other heroes and huh. then they see the four of you and like ah watch what we can do here and then they turn into she-hulk juggernaut Ooh. storm wow. and wolverine cool. and take famous poses and then they'll like go through different outfits that you've worn in the past and so it Whoa. all changes in real time while they pose and show off for the crowd and uh then all of a sudden like the video screen starts uh, to turn to static and goes out <laughs> and then you hear a voice and uh the voice is like, uh, sounds metallic. It's like, of course, there would be an exhibition to celebrate so called superheroes. Mm. So called. Dr. Wait. Doom appears. Oh, whoa. Oh, 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 cool. Superheroes. What a foolish concept to celebrate. Your vain attempts to save the world against us, super villains such as I. You wreak more havoc as any. The collateral damage you leave behind costs cities and countries countless taxpayer dollars to fix. And still, everyone here praises and idolizes you. And someone has the gall to fund an exhibition like this. It was my hope that the Fantastic Four would show up here tonight. But when I sent an email to all of you asking if you'd like to play the Fantastic Four, Joe didn't know who they were. <laughs> I even said I wanted to play a Fantastic Four player, and Joe was like, forget it. It's a long story. Forget it. Imagine a 43-year-old nerd having no idea who Ben Grimm is. No matter, we'll go with these four randos. Kill them! <laughs> and like a ton of Kill them. a ton of snipers appear <gasps> on the balcony. And we are in the middle of combat. Whoa. Oh my god, that okay. was quick. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Get right into Just it. It's like chip 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 chip. These snipers appear. So roll for initiative. You have an initiative bonus, and uh, you know, we're still learning the rules here. We've only really played once. Correct me if I'm wrong, if you get a fantastic success, you get to add You get a like a bonus like a surprise bonus round. Bonus round, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and you roll your D sixteen for 
initiative or? Yeah, Joel, those DC clone six, yep, yeah, you roll all three of them. Okay. And if your uh, Marvel die comes up as a Marvel, you get a bonus, you're in the bonus round. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, I forgot my dice, but Michael's getting them for me. Can you give me uh, yeah. yours for this? Okay. What did you get, uh, Storm? Uh, I got 15. 15. Did you have, you have an initiative bonus? I there? added my you initiative did. bonus. Okay. Great. Uh, 15. What about uh, Jugs? Uh, I also got a 15. <laughs> you also got a 15. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay. Rolling um, these, by the way, official cool Marvel dice, which I love. Like that. These are so cool. Those they have feel a really like, good feel. They yeah. feel like casino dice or something. They really like, they're do. Really, they're <laughs> the really neat. dice. Yeah. Um, now, correct me if I'm wrong. I think the tiebreaker starts with your initiative bonus, right? No. Uh, tiebreaker starts with Marvel. I did. Yeah. If I anyone did not else, roll no a Marvel. Marvel. What did you roll on the Marvel die? Uh, I rolled a five. I rolled a three. So you go okay. first. Okay. We'll okay. Great. Uh, what about uh, She Hulk? Ten. Ten. And Wolverine. Seventeen. Okay. Nice. No Marvel dies. I got them. No. No. no, I'm saying nobody rolled. Nobody them. rolled a Marvel. Ah, okay. That was really fun. That happened at San Diego Comic Con. Yeah. Wait, Found and what, what happens when that happens? You basically you get to act in a surprise round. Oh. Yeah. It's a like critical initiative. Oh, We've that's talked fun. about you know doing that on in, with Pathfinder. Yes. Yeah. It is. It's like it's one of the most exciting things because it happens like relatively often compared to like a D20 like a uh, natural 20 or something it's so exciting to see the Marvel logo like pop up yeah, yeah. it really is I love it yeah on the Marvel because side. so many amazing things happen yeah it it like really up. cool stuff happens it replaces the one on this red die uh, mm -hmm. so there's two sixes essentially it counts as six but when it happens uh, exciting things can happen basically and you just rolled one and I oh look at that, Isn't that fun? <laughs> oh. we'll count that as my initiative they all get to go first no uh, we're gonna have Wolverine go first Wolverine these guys are uh, at least 20, 25 feet up on these balconies, uh, ready to fire on you and uh, a crowd of innocents. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Man, I don't even know. All right, so they're about 20, 25 feet up. His and that would be spaces? like. Tw uh don't worry about spaces okay. so much. We, we're going to do more theater of the mind, but yeah, you could fly up there easily. Okay. Uh, he is going to... Uh, he's, he can't get up to them yet, so he sees like a... Uh, he sees like um, a waiter. He uh, just fires a waiter. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna say he sees a uh, like a, a, a like a mother maybe and like a kid, right? right. So like a, like a seven year old and like a mom. Mm -hmm. They're like right near him, and all these like guns that you know get pointed out, and uh, he's gonna like go over and like murder the family. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> he, he, <laughs> this will be an easy stab to, them to like to cause a distraction. <laughs> Exactly. They'll never see this coming. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Why did he do that? <laughs> yeah. So he's going to protect them. So he's basically going to like wrap himself around them, put his back to all the guns, and just like let them like shoot him. That's if cool. He needs to, to just protect these people for right now, because like he doesn't have a. That's like he doesn't have a Hulk. It's exactly like ter the Terminator does this in Terminator Two, like this exact thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like that's yeah. That's cool. Awesome. Uh, what about Storm? Uh, all right, so can I, uh, how does it work for for this game module? Can I use my flight ability and then do an attack? Your flight would yeah, be your move. that's your move. Yeah. A flight, flight is, is your move. move what is your use. flight rating? What is your flight, flight two. two? Flight two, okay. So, so it's two times your run. That's how far you can move, so yeah. uh, I believe. Oh, outside of combat. Okay, yeah, so it is, I, I believe it's two times my run. It's rank. Or, yeah, something like that. It's, it's actually more than that. I outside think of combat, I can fly up to 50 times my flight speed, but in combat, yeah, it would change. Yeah, 10 times your run speed. Okay. You. Like Instead of flying up right now, just because I want to do something immediately from the ground that I can do, I'm going to do my elemental ricochet. It costs 10 focus, but basically I make a ranged attack. Uh, in it, the range is 10 spaces times my character's rank, so I definitely can reach them. Yep, no problem. Um, and then if the attack is a success, it inflicts regular damage. If it's a fantastic success, which means I roll a marvel or... Mm -hmm. So if it's a fantastic success, the energy bounces off a target to the next target, and I can keep rolling to see oh, if I go like and go lightning. and go. Yeah, yes, exactly. Awesome. All right, so you're going to roll a, an agility attack okay. against my agility defense. And I'll just, for uh, for you guys and for people at home watching, let you know I'm using the stats for Bullseye for all of this. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, so I'm using the full stats. He's a rank two hero, uh, but right now you see four of them. So when I roll, I the time. Do, am I doing the times four, or is that like a damage? That's just, your damage. Okay. Sure you, yeah, so you just add your uh, you add your ability score, whatever it is. What's your agility? Three. Three? So roll three dice and add three, right, Joe? All right. Yeah. Let's yeah. see. I rolled a marble. Oh, there you go. Yay. That's a marble die. Okay. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Uh, so plus four. 
or a plus three. Agility is, yeah. So 14 total, that is exactly what their agility oh, defense okay. is. Amazing. So it is a fantastic success. So I will continue with that attack, but let me do the damage first. Okay. So the damage is my agility, it's a times four. Plus three. Yeah, so it's, walk me through this again, Joe. It's what you rolled on the Marvel die mm -hmm. times four. And then yep. double. So it's 24. Plus three. Plus three is 27 doubled, which would be 54. Yeah. 54 points of damage. <laughs> to the first man. Yep. And then you. Yeah, but it, you spent focus for that, right? Yes. That was like a power. Yeah. Ten, ten focus. Ten focus for that. is a lot. But yeah. what's good is, even with this 10 focus, because I rolled this fantastic success, I get to continue this and roll the next attack against this guy until I until I don't roll a fantastic success. Amazing. Oh my gosh. So, so roll another let's, attack. Let's see again. The first guy gets zapped. No, okay, but let's see. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, exactly 14. 14. 14. Yeah, yeah. All right. So you hit another guy. It chains off to the other guy. We'll say you're attacking the one, two of these guys on the right side. Uh, so four times four, 20, 16 plus 16, three, 19 three. points of damage. Oh, only 19. Okay. That's all right. Um, amazing. So that's the end of that. Nice. And then awesome. I'm going to fly up because uh, I still have a of move. Of course you are. Yeah. So, yeah, she just. Oh. You're like flying my hair, above all of that yeah. electricity. Yeah. My hair okay. goes up. Very God, cool. this is so cool. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's fun. Uh. <laughs> all right, Juggernaut, uh, you can't fly, so what are you going to do? Uh, yeah, I guess so. And they're up they're up top. They're in the like, balcony up Yeah, top. 25 feet up or so. Uh, I am going to grab the most solid, precious piece of art. Uh, He's stealing the marble. <laughs> yeah, it's like a runaway. He's a villain. No, there's like a, maybe let's say there's a bowling ball with like your face painted on it. Oh, okay. That's the most okay. precious piece of art. Like uh, in, 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 what is it? Chibi art style? The uh, Japanese anime, like silly. Oh my god. I think god. it's chibi. Oh, actually, no. I'm going. I'm gonna yeah, go. I'm. I'm just gonna like try to make my way to them. So I'm, my my intention is to like run over there to the wall, like close to where they are, and climb up it or jump up it to get up to where they are. Great. Um, do you, is there a relevant skill or, or do you no, have no, a no. jump ability? No, no, no. I'm just ability? like going to like, I have a jump of, uh, I have a jump of three, so it's probably not enough. Yeah, to, okay. Like, so you just start climbing. Yeah, yeah. I get up and like, I, so it's like a double move. Yeah, we'll say that's yeah. a double move. Great. Uh, She-Hulk. It's a boom, boom, boom. She-Hulk just like looks over at where these snipers are coming from, just gives a scowl, gnashes her teeth, and just with one fell swoop, just rah, jumps up. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, and yeah. just like, Backhands, backhand, <laughs> right, and like, ah, uh, she's gonna use her clobber super strength. Yes, <laughs> clobber is the great. First freaking <laughs> hell, <sniper>. yes. Clobber <laughs> is great. All right, now let me ask you this: Are you going after the ones that storm attacked, or the ones on the left side that haven't been hit yet? Let's say the ones that haven't been hit yet. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's see for that. Um, oh, this game is so instant. elegant. It is. It is. So it's a close melee attack. Uh, the attack is a success. They take regular damage. Fantastic. They take double damage. So this is just like a melee roll, yeah? Mm-hmm. So it's just, it's the marble die times eight plus five. If so you just, roll oh, damage. So it's a six. Uh, so fifth? what was your attack? So first you add that up and then add your uh, melee bonus. Uh, this five. plus, uh, so, okay, so it's this. 15. 15 against That's a, a hit. That should be a hit. Let me just check his melee defense. Oh, melee. Oh, it's different. Right. Yeah, cuz uh it's it, his, his melee defense is 14. So that is a hit. Great. So whatever you rolled on the Marvel die, multiply it by your melee damage multiplier and then 53 up. points of clobbering oh damage. Nice. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Jeepers. Imagine wow. getting Amazing. hit with a single like backhand for ah. 53 points of oh damage. My god, that's so great. I oh. love it. All right. Now it is all four of their turn. So oh, damn. <laughs> let's get nasty here. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. We're going to have the first one uh, is just going to snipe down at Wolverine. Yeah. Okay. okay. At that they, family. Yeah. And so when, when sniping, uh, what is it? You get, they get triple damage on a fantastic success because oh. Bullseye has the uh, sniping uh, power, I believe. And then also there was something else. I don't worry about it. Just go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The more you find uh, powers and oh, traits, he gets, because it's bullseye, I'm using bullseye stats, he gets edge on attacks while sniping. <laughs> and with edge, I get to re-roll any die. Oh, right. So I bet you, even if I get a five on the Marvel, it would be behoove me to re-roll it because of the... Oh, all right. So I got a six, five, six. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to re-roll the Marvel die, even though I rolled a six, just to see if I can get a fantastic success. Cocky. 
and I did. Oh, no. oh my God. God. Six, six, <laughs> only you. Only you. <laughs> six, six, six. So now six, well, five, six, six, five, six. Oh, my so, God. So, I mean, 17 plus uh, whatever his uh, agility. So, that's a 21 against your agility defense. Uh, that hits. Oh, boy. This is going to be a ton of damage. Now, what is your um, damage uh, reduction? One. One. All right. So his agility bonus is times four. That's now going to be a times three. So it's six times three is 18 plus four, 22, 66 points of oh, damage. Oh, oh man. Oh, wow. <laughs> and these bullets, you see that it shreds the back, or the bullet shreds the back of the tuxedo. Yeah. Just like uh, uh, rips through it. And he's just like, and, uh, and, and the bullets uh, hit his reinforced skeleton. Yeah. Which Amazing. reduces the damage by a whole factor. It would have been like 88 points Oh, yeah. Of That's, oh, yeah. Yeah. All oh. right. The next guy is going to use this power called snap shooting, where I can attack two targets, but I only roll once, and then I compare the roll against your agility defenses. Half damage if I succeed, but full damage, uh, and you're bleeding if I do a fantastic success. So okay. let's see. And because he's sniping, he gets edged, so I'm going to do the same exact thing for two chances at the marble die. And I'm going Wait, to aim. to me? No, this is going to be at Juggernaut as he's climbing up. The guy points down. Got it. Uh, and at Storm floating in midair there. Okay. Uh, all right, so not a great roll. I'm going to re-roll the marble die, and I did not get a marble, so that's nine. 10 plus 4, 14 against your agility defense? Minus 13. Wow. And what's your agility defense, Joe? Uh, it's quite, it's 11, so. Okay, all right. Oh. So that is going to hit both of you, but it's only half damage, which in this case, I did roll a 6 on the marble die. Uh, so what's your damage reduction? Do you uh, have? I have damage reduction on my health, nothing. Yes. Okay, yeah. so you're going to take... Uh, 28, uh, excuse me, half damage. You're going to take 14 points of damage. Okay. And what's your DR? Uh, I, right next to your health. Uh, next to, Hit oh, points. um, damage, I don't have any. You don't have any, okay. Oh, it's wait, pretty, no, 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 minus four. Yeah, I was good. Oh, wow. So it's times zero. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. And I got wouldn't, this armor. oh, is that because oh. that No, no, because I'm juggernaut. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, he, because I'm juggernaut. Yeah, because I'm juggernaut. So, like, and even if the damage had gone through, I still wouldn't take it because of the crimson bands because it's less than 30. Holy moly. So I don't think I did zero damage, but so in this like, case... it's like, boom, boom. These bullets are just bouncing off of him because yeah, he's so the juggernaut. It would only be five <laughs> points of damage to you. Do you even take that? I wouldn't no? take it. You wouldn't take it. Okay. I wouldn't take That's it. Amazing. You know what? I, I wouldn't take it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, nah. <laughs> nah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, the, the next sniper is going to do the same thing. We're going to do one. Uh, the, the guy like on, from the other side sees She-Hulk, bashes Buddy. He fires one shot at She-Hulk and another shot at Storm. Um, it is going, oh, that's a marvel on the marvel die. I oh, roll man. six, marvel six. Jeez, so like man. The that's, highest possible. That's the oh, highest possible shoot. roll. So this is going to be triple damage. Um, I'm going to die. Let's walk through this. I've, man, I've been rolling this way all weekend long. Uh, all right, so it's going to be uh, six times, well, what, you have no damage reduction. No. So uh, oh my God. six times four is 24 is 28. Squishy. But it's triple damage while sniping. I'm going to die. And then half damage. I have a headache. Uh, just think about that. So I imagine I triple it first. So it's nine, uh, 84 points of damage? Is 84 some... divided by 2. Yours is going to be different. I, I just yeah. done that off the top of my head. But, All right, yeah. 80. Uh, or... 28 times 3. All right. Wait, don't take 84 points of damage. 20... Yeah, 28 times 3 is 84. 84. 84. Halved. So okay. 42 points of damage. God damn it. Wow. And then do you have you have DR, right? I have a DR of negative 2. Okay, negative minus 2. So it's only going to be 6 times 2 is 12 is 4 is uh, 16 times 3 is 38 divided by 2. It's kind of crunchy. No, uh, no, no. 18? Uh, Sorry. It's 42. 19. 42. 42 divided by 2. So 21 points of damage. Okay. Oh, I wish cool. I only did three snipers, but I've got one more, and he's not going to snap shoot because I'm tired of doing that ability. Uh, he is going to do... Oh, that was a fantastic success. You're also both bleeding. Oh, and right. And you're bleeding what as is well, that? Wolverine. What does that mean? Um, I'll look it up. Okay. I think you're... Actually, you're not bleeding, Wolverine. That's just on snap shooting. But now I'm going to do a double tap. This is a uh, ranged attack on uh, Juggernaut. Okay. Last attack here. If I hit, it will be double damage and bleeding. Uh, excuse me, fantastic success will be double damage and bleeding. And uh, I rerolled the marvel, didn't get it. So 10, 11, plus 4. That's a hit. That's a hit. So you're going to take probably very little damage. Uh, with 8. 8 points of damage. None. None. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's a little, little clunky getting through this. It, you read Boom. it at first, you're like, oh wow, it's kind of rules light. It is not. No, it's oh, not. Good. That's what we were here. saying. Like Matthew and I read it. It's like I think this might be too rules light for our taste, and it was just like, no, like this is actually like it's perfect. Yeah, no, not, not quite super chunk, but there's a lot of depth there, especially when you get into the powers and the abilities. And by the way, Demiplane is now is or is soon offering the Marvel that this game is like one of their. They support this. Yeah, like you can do a I'm lot using of it, it like right through. now because it's just I just highlight over the power. It tells me what I want. So check out uh, yeah. our good buddies at Demi Plane too. Uh, top of the next round, it's Wolverine. You just got lit up. Just to confirm one more time, She-Hulk and Storm are bleeding. What does that mean, Joe? You take certain damage. I haven't found it yet. I okay, was, I I'll thought there it. might just be a conditions tab, but I couldn't find it easily. I'll look. It so up. I'm going to move on with uh, I'll ble I'll page 37. There, I found it in the index. Uh, I want to know what it does too. Uh, bleed I've is... Got it right here. Character... Uh, victim... Uh, a, a bleeding character loses five health at the end of each of their turns until they die or Ooh. the condition ends. Anyone, including the victim, can stop the bleeding by using an action, so you'd have to burn your action to make a successful logic te check against a target number of ten. So you're like patching yourself up, probably. The condition also ends any time the victim recovers one or more health. Doesn't healing factor negate bleeding though that's what he just said yeah oh okay so he doesn't, right. you basically don't the last sentence it. said if you get one point of healing it stops oh, okay. the bleeding then, then yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so yeah. it would actually so you're immune yeah yeah so uh, i am too yeah i have healing factor too so you that's can't amazing. bleed no um, uh yeah you're immune to bleed but you're not immune to dying uh, all right, all right. So storm and she hulk uh you will have to decide if you want to use an action to try and test logic to stop the bleeding, or wait until the fight's over and just possibly die. Wolverine, what do you do? Wolverine, uh, you know, he takes this shot. We go around for, you know, first we saw his back, the bullets going in, then the camera comes around to his face and you see the pain on his face and the rage that passes through it. And he, uh, now he has to use his trait Berserker. So he has to make a ego check against his own ego. Uh, at, which is low. So uh, let's see if he makes, succeeds at this ego check. Uh, uh, he does. He does. He okay. succeeds on the ego check, which allows him to keep control. He is, he is not out of control yet. Uh, but he still is going to, realizing he's the target and not just random citizens, he's going to break off and... Uh, run for these guys. So is there a way to get up there? Like, uh, is there stairs? He's climbing, but yeah, if you look for stairs, you do see uh, there's like a side door that leads up. Yeah. Uh, all right, then he's just going to go full speed, double move, dash, whatever, to uh, try to get up there. You get over there, and actually it isn't stairs. It's an elevator, and it says out of order. <laughs> it's fine. You run up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's an escalator, and it says out of order. No, Damn it, I'm trapped. No, no. <laughs> it's got one of those yellow cleaning signs. Like, for caution. Uh, all right. It is Storm's turn. Storm's oh, you know what we Just pouring blood out on people. You know what we needed to do? What? You needed to throw me up there in round one. Oh. Uh, totally. Then you yeah. jumped, and I just never... I didn't Missed opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so... I realized I have uh, something called combat re combat reflexes. Yep. So I can I get a reaction each turn. Is that on my? Everybody, gets, everybody a gets a reaction. Oh, okay. You get two reactions because of combat reflexes. Yeah, combat reflexes. But there was bonus. nothing I could have done about being shot at, right? I think you can dodge. Unless you had you a power. Dodge. You may have certain powers that uh, that uh, don't have a thing of instant. They have a thing of reaction. Yeah. Uh, oh, I know, I like dodge bullets, or like you could the Matrix bullet dodge is in here. There's a power that's like back bend bullet yeah. dodge or something like that. Oh, no. cool. uh, The round pass, so you can't do it now, but between this turn and next turn, check and see what kind of reactions you have. Well, here's the thing, folks. Uh, I'm down to five hit points. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. so you're, you go down so, at the end of this round. So I'm going to stop flying, and I'm going to lower back to the crowd Get of your car. people <laughs> and all my superhero <laughs> friends. Uh, I am going to do the logic check to stop my bleeding, otherwise I'll go down after this round. Okay. So that's gonna be my thing. But could I, as like a free action, I have, you know, everyone I, I assume has connections to their like superhero friends, mm -hmm. that's what Storm has. This room is full of superheroes. Can I be like, hey! <laughs> And can somebody come over to me and heal me? Uh, Doctor Strange. Yeah, like oh. literally 
anyone. Well, you know what? This is a, it's a fun Gen Con game. How about we do this? How about you, you use a logic check to heal yourself, call someone over, and then you play that superhero. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Skid, nice. th give me, think of a superhero. Uh, between this turn and next turn, I'll give you. That'll be okay, your turn. Okay. Roll the logic check. You made 666. Yeah. You're fine. So you're no longer bleeding. We, at least in this fiction, uh, Storm will not die. Take a second now between your next turn to decide which hero you're going to be. That's amazing. Help! You guys just see Storm like fall out of the sky. Storm just after bleeding out on the crowd, she uh, runs away. Juggernaut, what do you do? Uh, so is Juggernaut like he's as he climbed up yep. to the second level now? You can get up now? there now, right next to a guy. So he's just like, stop shooting, folks! I don't like it no more. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! And he's going to smash. I'm going to spend nice. ten Scrum focus world. points to use this. Uh, this is a. I have edge on this. Uh, okay, I got a, uh, do, 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 do. uh, all right, I'm going to re-roll my Marvel die, try to get a fantastic success. I don't, but I get a six. That's, nice. uh, that's a 21 to hit. That's a hit. Oh, and that's, uh, that's max damage. So I get an extra five points of damage to my bonus because of the focus that I spent. I get one extra point per two points of focus. Um, okay, so let me figure this out. <laughs> uh, okay, there's... Okay, what's uh? Shit. Okay, I need a calculator. What was your Marvel die? <laughs> uh, Marvel die was six. Okay. All right. So, uh, I'm sorry. I'm. This is the last day of con, and I'm. I'm dying. I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. This is a little tricky. Just take your time. I'll check in with the. Uh, okay. Old, wait. Old no. Story. No. I've got. You it. know what? Well, it. Uh, okay. I've got it. Uh, he does 127 points of damage. Now, you don't have the heroic tag. Do you knock this guy unconscious? I smash him into a, a bloody pulp. <laughs> <laughs> just boom! And he I just like goes smash him like down like a pile driver onto, onto a railroad spike. Just like, boom! Uh, that gentleman is uh, no more. <laughs> yeah. That gentleman died. Uh, I'd like to uh, make a couple of clarifications, yes. if I may, Please. Uh, on Wolverine. I failed the SHIT out of that uh, ego, uh, yeah, that ego test about Berserker. I thought, for whatever reason, I thought the TN was it was against yourself, against your own ability, and he's got a low ego and whatever. The the TN is equal to the amount of damage you took. That's the target number. Oh, so it's so it was sixty six. Oh. So he flies into a rage, and he does the oh, same thing. Oh, he has the Berserker trait, yeah. too, right? Yeah, yeah He yeah. flies into a rage, and he runs, but he has to target the guy that shot him if right. he's still up. Okay. So he is, r like, raging and str and running towards this guy, I and that. he yeah. heals five hit points. Yeah. As he's running, the bullet holes are starting yeah, to close. Yeah, it's to close. Nice. The bullets are, like, so being pushed awesome. out of the wounds. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Does he rip his tux off? <laughs> uh, we'll get there. Okay. <laughs> One thing at a time, Lavelle. All right. Um, <laughs> let's go to Sheehal. Uh, how many snipers were on me after I so I just I just backhanded one of them. Yeah, you're going to be on the side where Wolverine is coming up. Uh, okay. You've got two. One guy so, hasn't been touched, okay, and cool. one you annihilate. Perfect. That's what I was hoping. So I I just backhanded this one guy. I go over, turn to the next one, and I like pick up his skull. I just palm his skull, lift him up, and just start crushing oh, his skull. Yes. Uh, yes. As I, uh, I will spend five focus to, uh, to, to use my crushing grip. Oh. And just as I as I have lifted his, his him up by the skull, just start squeezing. <laughs> All right, so I'm assuming this will be against my melee defense. Uh, your resilience defense. Oh, my resilience, oh, even resilience. better. Yeah. That defense. makes total sense. Yeah. Uh, once again, if you didn't join us for character creation, the the skills are spell out the word marvel. It's melee, agility, resilience. Vigilance, ego, and logic. Very clever. And the 616 system is also an homage to the baseline Marvel Universe, the 616 universe. Earth 616. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, all right, so what did you what did you roll in your automatic yeah. hit? <laughs> uh, 20. 20, that is a hit. Nice. 20 to hit. Uh, so then oh, oh, we're gonna that annihilate is... this dude. Yeah. 45. 45. Now yeah. let me ask you this: Are right, was this was this the guy that you already smashed, or the guy that you? No, didn't the smash? other guy. Okay, great. All right, so you really mess up that other. They're both just waiting there as Logan is approaching. Uh, all right, let's go back to the snipers. There is one less now. Uh, Juggernaut, there's one on you. He backs up so that he can get within the, enough spaces to actually uh, snipe effectively, uh, and is going to take a shot at you. But I mean, man, this is going to be tough. Uh, oh, I got a Marvel on the Marvel die, but then I got two ones. Oh. So I'm going to okay. re-roll where I've got an edge on sniping. I'll re-roll one of the ones. 
Uh, and I rolled a two, so that's six, seven, eight, nine plus four, thirteen against your agility. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a hit. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so that's gonna be a fantastic success. It's triple damage, but your damage multiplier is, or your uh, damage reduction is four, four, yeah. which brings it to a zero. So it's just a straight ten times three, thirty points of damage, which is exactly the amount that I can disregard. That is insane. I know it's I so. Agree. I love <laughs> playing the juggernaut. This is so. I love this game. I love this game so much. <laughs> that's amazing. God, you know. I love this game. You know that your damage roll times zero is zero. It's not time, times one would be 30. Yeah, I guess you're right, right? I think that they can't do any damage. Well, you just get your bonus damage, right? Because it's times zero plus four. So you get the plus four times yes. three, 12. So yeah, it would only be 12. Uh, yeah, you're right. I was thinking about that. I'm like, yeah. well, it's got to be base zero. plus four, but no, it's zero yeah. plus this four. Is so, yeah, I, it's the is... question is, is it times zero or is it no multiplier? But like a, a one is the multiplier, and that would give you base, right? Yeah, no, I, right? think, so. I think you're right. Um, so ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, let's have the other guy run to the stairwell where you're coming up, Logan, and he's going to uh, snipe at you. And I'm going to reroll the marble die, even though it was a five, and I got a two. Six, seven, eight, nine. Thirteen against your agility defense, Joe. Uh, 13, uh, that is a miss. Yeah. He, it would normally be a hit, but he has these special... Uh, power brawling, uh, which allows him to use his melee defense as his agility right. defense. Right. So he only has a two agility, but his agility defense is 17. That's oh, really cool. Dang. I love that. Well, my poop. character in the, the SDCC game are the same kind of thing. All right. I am going to, uh, with my last guy, do snap shooting uh, to shoot at She Hulk and a new superhero that is entering the fray. Who would that be? Okay, so. I think now, if you'll forgive me, I think now is the perfect time to meet Spider-Man with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're talking about who's gonna heal me. <laughs> Spider-Man with a gun can't do shit to heal me. Uh, no, so I looked through, I was trying to, so this was actually hard. I was like, who is a healing superhero who can heal others, not just like heal themselves? And I found this character, I don't know if you're familiar with them, Skid, or, or anybody, but Excalibur, AKA Dr. Faiza Hussein. So uh, Excalibur is, uh, she's a physician, and basically like her code name is Excalibur because she wields fucking Excalibur. Like what? she pulled oh, the, wow. the sword from the stone. Wow. Uh, and she's like a, a doctor and she works with, um, it says during Hydra's takeover, uh, she joined the champions of Europe and she freed Paris from the Hydra invasion force. So she's like a European wow. Marvel superhero. Yeah, yeah. And okay. So I imagine Storm has met her at a gala <laughs> in Europe. A charity event. A charity, yeah, a charity event. event. <laughs> and uh, she sees her. Ah! She sees her and she goes, Excalibur! Excalibur, come here, come here, come here, come here. Uh, and she's like bleeding out. She just is like on the floor and people are running everywhere. And it, uh, can she heal me? She can, but I think you've misunderstood the assignment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you wanted me to heal. I wanted you to just pick another hero to oh. play. So Storm is just like down and out. Storm is Pick so another I, hero I, I in the room to play. I think that's fine. I think this Excalibur comes over and heals her. <laughs> yeah. It's a very nice scene. Uh, but now you're Oh, you know who could heal you? Like, I think Zorn, who was... It's, there's a whole thing with them, but I think that was one of his things. With they he has, team like, up. magical, like he, like yeah. They okay. throw down their glasses of champagne to heal. And you. he's not. He, he doesn't exist anymore, anyway. So it's, yeah. then uh, come back to me. <laughs> I hold my turn. I was so confused. I also thought that what you, yeah. <laughs> oh, I was just, confused. Like, call somebody out to come heal you. I thought I was just gonna get healed and I could live on. <laughs> All right. So, well, you know what? Fuck it. I'm being Spider-Man. You're gonna be Spider-Man. Do it. Yeah. yeah. Without a gun. Uh, okay. You wanna, Point I wish I could be Scarlet Witch, but she's too powerful. Well, so I'm gonna is. I'm gonna be Spider-Man. Right, nice. Yeah. Sixteen against your agility defense. Uh, she Hulk. Uh, agility defense. That's a, yeah. So sixteen. Yeah. yeah. I'm hit. And what is Spider-Man's agility defense? Spider, my new character it's is nineteen. A nineteen. Good luck. It's uh, I figured it was a miss. All right, so it's gonna be half damage to She Hulk. Your DR is two. Yes. So it's four times two is eight plus four is twelve. Six points. So of, six oh, points it's plus, triple. Plus Oh. Sorry, there's so much math. I've got to uh, keep part uh, to 36. 18 points of damage. 18 plus the five because I'm bleeding. That's right. Plus five. Because you're, oh, no, that happens at the end of your turn. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, okay, so. But you probably didn't take that, so yeah, give it to yourself now. All right. I'm done. And it is Wolverine's turn. A guy is standing at the top of the broken down escalator firing at you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, my, if my voice could do it, I would scream. 
Um, he comes running around at the guy that shot at him. He's in range to move to him and attack him, you would say. Mm -hmm. uh, well, then, yeah, you see Wolverine in a tuxedo, completely out of his mind. The blades burst through his skin. Blood just drips down the edge of him, and he just screams, runs, picks it up in the air, and is going to uh, attack this guy. So, oh, man. He, when he's berserking, he gets a plus two to all his uh, bonus to all of his damage, and uh, he has an edge on all melee attacks. So Amazing. he comes in swinging, and uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and we've been probably using these words edge. I don't think we've said trouble. It's basically you re if you have an edge, you reroll and take the better. If you have a trouble, you reroll and have you have to reroll and you have to. Yeah, take and you the have better. to reroll the highest die. And right. Take the, yeah. It's like advantage and sort of like advantage and disadvantage. And yeah, but with a three d six system, it's, it yeah. works a little yeah. differently. But yeah. it is it's really unique. At least for me, like I haven't played anything quite like this with the system, and it's just so yeah. fun and yeah, refreshing. it is completely it's like, new to me. Yeah. I need yeah. three dice. Marvel die, baby! Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Oh, that's a twenty-one. Twenty? <laughs> yes, it's definitely. Uh, it. Okay. Okay, that is a twenty-one. So that is. Cut his head off. That is seventy-four points of damage. Oh, so you just skewer this guy and lift him into yeah. the air, <laughs> like just screaming with rage. It's like an X Men two when he like pins the guy against the yeah, fridge. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I love that scene, and I think that it uh, it po it starts to pop the buttons on his uh, collar, <laughs> just start like popping off because his the neck veins, is like, like his veins are pushing it open, and the bow tie oh, just like starts to come off. Uh, so yeah, does he kill him? Yes. Well, well, no, you, you have, have the heroic, heroic trait, too. Oh, you so shoot. you stab a man and he uh, falls asleep. <laughs> yeah, so he, you know, he gets him through the shoulder. Yeah, we'll just say he the get, same you thing. You get just short of he killing him. He gets him through yeah. the shoulders, pins him like up against the wall, like, he gets, or he lifts him up, you know what I mean? And that just <laughs> pulls yeah. the blades <laughs> back out and he just drops like I'm so to the ground. I'm tired <laughs> with these blades in my stomach. Man, getting stabbed really wore me out. Must sleep forever. Um, all right, it is now. I'm just going to keep your same initiative yeah. the storm. It's Spider-Man. Which Spider-Man are you? I'm Peter Parker Spider-Man. Oh, cool. Yes. Nice. You see, you Old hear, school. you don't even see yet. And then in flies <laughs> fucking <laughs> Peter Amazing. Parker. <laughs> and he lands. Where did that whip come from? He lands and he's like, need any help? I'm oh. Peter Parker Spider-Man. <laughs> he reveals his identity. He says, <laughs> he I'm Peter Parker Spider-Man. Spider <laughs> it's me. <laughs> it's me. I'm a fun-loving guy. Um, all right, here I go. Uh, all right, are you going to the side where Juggernaut is or the side where uh, Logan and She-Hulk are? Uh, where are there more guys? Uh, I missed the there's combat. There's one on each side. Oh, um, well, um, I'll go by... She-Hulk. I'll go okay. by She-Hulk. All right, so Logan can take care of that one side. You go over there. <laughs> you web-sling up there. Fine, Lane. I'll go by Logan. I'll go by Logan. He might need help. I web-sling over to Logan. Hey, buddy, watch this. And then I'm going to do my spider strike. Okay, spider strike. What Talk is spider strike? spider strike? Spider strike. Oh, actually, I don't really need this because there's only one guy. The character splits their attack to make two close attacks against separate targets. Yeah. Oh, I love, that's yeah. like when he does the like handstand and like kicks out with two legs or something. <laughs> well, maybe yeah. I'll just do... I just want to web him. Let yeah. me see what I have that's like web trapping. Here we go. There you go. Um, yeah. So oh, nice. I feel there's the a whole section in the book of powers of just like spider. Yeah, it's, spider it's powers. amazing. Oh, yeah. There's so many. He gets so many too. Yeah. He's yeah. Really so cool. when you build He's a really character cool. that you can pull from these different genres of powers, like I said, Wolverine has basic, martial arts, and melee weapons. Those right. are his three. If you pull from less than your rank in categories. You get you get bonus. Powers. You can take that extra point and do bonus powers, or add to add your, your base your attributes. Of the attribute, yeah. So uh, it, it's just a way. It's, it's encouraging you to sort of pick a theme. It, it is yeah. without without making making you do it. Like right. You yeah. can, and it's, it's very cool because it's it, it's you know phasing. You know, teleportation, yeah. uh, weather control, weather elemental, control, yeah. elemental powers, right? And Super strength, plasticity, right? Like and that all builds yep. to just say, and then there's. Spider power. Yeah. It is That's its own whole category. Whole category. It's yeah. So it's so the, cool. It's the Marvel multiverse role playing game, and obviously with the success of all these Spider Man multiverse movies, you can make any type of Spider Man. Spider Ham. Want. Yeah. You can Spider make Ham. You can make yeah. Peter Porker. Yeah, Peter Porker. <laughs> Peter Porker. <laughs> all right, um, Spidey. So you want to just do a web trap here? Does yeah. it do damage, or is it just to, to hold the guy? Just to hold the guy. So okay. it says it fills up to five spaces with sticky webs. The affected areas are considered difficult terrain. Damn it! Wait. This is. Oh wait. Okay. Yes. Um, 
Any creature that starts its turn or moves into an affected space must make an agility check or be paralyzed by the webbing. So I'm just trying to stop this last guy Great, so we can, can get to... slow him down so somebody else could come finish him off. Logan. All right, so give me... I'm assuming this is going to be an agility check. Roll your three dice and add your agility bonus. You must make an agility check when you move on your turn. Right. Yeah, so that's... What is the TN of the agility check? You know, that's... I'll figure that out. Just right. roll, Great roll to see if you hit him. Okay. Uh, I don't think I have there's to. There's not a roll. It just it's five spaces. It just covers five spaces. I'm oh, just, that's it. I'm just, just webbing around him. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, I think so. you should. I think web trapping might be the thing you should use. That's yeah, what that's I'm using. What oh, it is. Yeah, I thought it was more like I put the web on him, but it seems to be like an effect. It's an Maybe AOE. It's... Great. Well, when it comes to his turn, we'll see if he can move. Oh wait. Or not. Here, no. Here's what I want. Sorry. There's so many spider stuff. Yeah, yeah. You just we just threw you into this. Web one. casting. The character makes a ranged attack on an yes. enemy. If there the attack is a success, go. the there web paralyzes the enemy. That's there I knew they, yeah. there I knew they go. had one that I, I wanted to do. Perfect. All right. The character can snare a target in a web. Awesome. Okay, so no Marvel, but I did roll a six, and I rolled a one and a one. Six, seven, eight. Um, plus your agility. Plus my agility. Which is seven, nice. I think. Seven. Oh, it is a seven. Yeah. All right, so eight plus seven, 15. That is a hit. Yes. Nice. Uh, All right. So he is paralyzed. What is the paralyzed condition, Joe? Just can't move, can't act? Yeah. He's paralyzed and pinned. No, pinned, oh, no is, on a fantastic pinned is only on a fantastic. So the character cannot move or take any actions that require melee or agility checks. Their agility defense is reduced to 10 against ranged attacks, Amazing. and close attacks automatically hit them. That's so oh, perfect. So Logan is about to... All right, so that That's a cool thing, too. Just it, What we played last time, it says the way these sort of abilities sort of synergize in the moment is, can be so yeah. fun. It's cool. something, something that Nora did was so awesome yeah. in that show. And yes. just, the developers fun, yeah. came up afterwards. Was like, yeah, like, what like, Nora did was the coolest thing we've seen since <laughs> yeah. We started yeah, yeah. It really is like bump set spike. Like it really yeah, allows it people really, to do really, really fun stuff. It feels I like, like the a superhero. Work. Movie. Yeah. 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 Aspect of it. Um, all right, wonderful. Let's keep chugging along here with Juggernaut. There is one guy uh, up there. Okay. He instantly feels uh, intense pangs of guilt for turning a man into jelly, uh, but it doesn't stop him from trying to do the same thing to the next guy. <laughs> so he turns around and um, he's just going to do a he's going to do a clobber. He's just going to do a regular clobber. Uh, oh, that is a fantastic success. Nice. Uh, that is a, like, 24 or yeah. something to hit. Just, just oh, my damage. God. You're going to kill this poor guy. Uh, that is, that, that's, a, that's at least 100, that's 120 damage. Oh. Okay. So he just splatters. Oh. Yeah. He looks like an art installation. Yeah, and, he, and he, like, with his fist, he, like, smashes him, like, pins him against the wall, and it's just like, poof, he just explodes like a packet of ketchup. <laughs> Jack, Jackson Pollock painting. Yeah, <laughs> against the Jackson love. Pollock painting. Wow. <laughs> oh, <I love laughs> so you Pollock. can't tell. <laughs> Someone walks by. <laughs> so good. Uh, all right, well, She-Hulk, there's only one left, and this guy's trapped in webbing. We'll say you're on the other side. You could easily jump over there. Uh, you know what, though? For this one, uh, as she's, like, she has palmed this guy and dropped him, she sees, like, a green blood handprint on top of his skull, and she's like, oh, shit, am I bleeding? <laughs> <laughs> and so I would like to do the logic check before ah, I start okay. losing any more blood. <laughs> Great. It's tar uh, TN of 10, so you roll three dice, add your logic bonus. What is, your logic's pretty high, right? Yeah, my logic's a six. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You'll I mean, nail this. I think it's uh, impossible to fail unless you went one, one, one. 21. Yeah, yeah. You're good. Boom. So you're no longer bleeding. Unfortunately, it does take your action, which means this one sniper yeah. uh, who's paralyzed, can he do anything or he just loses his He can't his do turn? any attacks. He can't, Amazing. yeah. Amazing. So then it goes back to Wolverine. Wolverine. And it's an yeah. auto hit for whatever you do, for a melee, a right. close melee. So Wolverine, do it. Kill describe, it. describe your kill. Describe your kill. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, he just sees it completely in a berserk rage. So, uh, yeah, he'll run over to... Oh, maybe he actually did kill the guy. I think he... Probably wasn't able to pull his punches on that dude. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Secured it, but you tell me, it's your. Fiction. Yeah, no, he didn't kill him, uh, but he, he could easily die. It's like he didn't stab him through the heart. Is all I'm saying. You right. know, he, he stabbed him like up by the shoulders and, and then just pulled he just the blades has ten, out. Ten blades. He in his pulled body. the blade out and just kept running. Like he didn't. He knew the guy was going down, but <laughs> he, he might die. He might not. Peter Parker. But like, yeah, sure. Mr. You know, Logan. I want. I'm not finishing this adventure until I know whether or not this gentleman dies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the epilogue will really focus on that. Excalibur comes up. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm a doctor. <laughs> I, I, if I only had got here five seconds earlier. Uh, do you want? Can you oh, just? Okay. Are you gonna kill this guy? What are you gonna do? Yeah, I'll kill him. Okay. So awesome. yeah, he just goes over wow. in a rage, and the, the guy's already pinned, and he just slashes him across the throat. Unbelievable. And, and so another thing I didn't say uh, is, and this is cool, is that he 
so I've been gaining five hit points every round. Oh yeah. So, are you back up? So no, no, I'm still way down. But like I, I gained 15 hit points during that fight. Which that's is so, awesome. That's so great. And I then, love it. but when he goes ber into his berserker rage, he loses five focus every round at the end of his oh, turn. Oh wow! And, uh, and if if it gets to the point where you cannot voluntarily spend any more focus, or if there are no enemies in sight, the berserk state ends. So is that the last enemy in, you know, d well, does the state Doctor end? Doctor Doom. He's well, not funny. actually so, there. So he just sl place. slashes this guy and then he's just... <laughs> yeah. It's funny you mention that because as you uh, lay the last sniper to rest, the screen comes back on and Doctor Doom is there again. And it looks like he's looking down at all of you. He's like, yes, I'm always underestimating you. Well then. Let's get creative, and he starts typing away, oh, typing, man. manipulating tech, and then suddenly, uh, two out of those those AI robots uh. start to switch until they look like Doctor Doom, oh. and they take to the sky and start blasting you. It's a new combat against two Doom bots. Okay. Uh, do, we, do we roll okay. a new initiative? Or? Yeah, let's roll reroll a new initiative, okay. and uh, yeah, I'm giving them the stats of Doctor Doom, who is a rank five. Oh hero. my God! So let's see what oh, you can do man. against two rank five what is, heroes. What does wow. initiative modifier plus three E mean? Yeah, what is the E? e. Uh, I edge. Just, I think it means you have an edge. Oh, you have edge. Oh. oh okay. I'm actually shocked at how much I'm remembering. That's uh, yeah, I'm amazed. I'm also, my initiative was even higher last time. I didn't even add that bonus. I rolled a Marvel die on my Wolverine's initiative. That means oh, you get to bonus work. round. What's up? Surprise, surprise. surprise Adam Spidey. Uh, I did not. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, I'm going to clear my Johns here. Did any other, anybody else get a uh, fantastic success? Nope. No. Okay, I had my Doom bots. 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 Doom bots. Doom bots. I cannot sing. My voice doesn't go there. Oh, no. It's over. All right. What did you get? Leave me. Wolverine. Bots, bots, bots. 20. 20 for Wolverine. Amazing. Spider Man. Also a 20. 20, okay, and what is your, uh, and you rolled the Marvel dice. Plus so three with first. Edge, and I, I get a Marvel. Uh, juggernaut. Uh, 11. 11, and She-Hulk. 14. 14, all right, so this is interesting. Uh, we'll have uh, Spider-Man, you get a bonus action. So you get to act first before anybody, and then we start initiative from the top. And surprise, surprise, you rolled the highest initiative. So you basically get two turns oh. in a row. Okay. It's amazing. Um, that's Spider-Man. He's super fast. Yeah. So there's a funny power that Spider-Man has, which I love because it's so true to the character. He's got Wisecracker. So I crack a joke at the enemy's expense, and I make an <laughs> ego attack. Uh, and if they fail, they, they take focus damage. Would I know that these are robots and it wouldn't work, or would that affect them? Oh, no. That would absolutely affect them. They, right. have, they have focus, and, uh, you know, they're, I, I think in the in the fiction, they, are, they think they're Dr. Doom. Right? Yeah, they're like... Yeah, Doombot. It's like life model decoys, right? And then and Doombots. Yeah, they they like. Yeah, they think they're. I think they think they're Doctor. Except Doom. Except when they see Doctor Doom, then they realize like that's their father. But like right. they have the mind of Doctor Doom, and they act as if they are Doctor <laughs> Doom. Oh, that's yeah. so weird. And, and have, very very scary. And yeah. they have. I'll tell you right now, 120 points of focus. Uh, so doing damage to their focus would is be it good. Good. Oh my! Oh did no! You just I didn't roll. roll I didn't roll that. <laughs> I saw six 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 with the no no no. Oh. So I'm making an attack. Uh, on an enemy, so I guess only one Ego. of them. Yep. Ego attack. Ego attack. So that I didn't roll a marble die, but that is a 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, plus my ego is a zero, so 17. 17 against my ego defense, which is exactly a 17. Wow. Which, which means I, I get it. It means you get it, yeah. Ty goes to the room. Yeah, he says something like, Dr. Doom, where'd you get your degree from? The school of <sighs> butts? God, it's so hard in the mo. How do you guys do it? I don't. You guys are so impressive. I, I just feel over. I feel so lucky to be fighting a lot. Ah! And he shoots. Uh, I'm gonna do web. So hold on a second. Oh. He, he just did 20 points of focus damage to him, right? Is, you're asking me? Huh? You're asking me? You what didn't actually do anything. Oh, you're right. What's I my? I think I think you do 20 oh, points. Oh, the. Of oh, sorry. Uh, on a success, it does regular focus damage. Yeah, so you did 20 points of damage. 20 points of focus damage. 20 points of nice. focus damage. To a doom Great. bot. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, and that is my action then. Yeah, that's your so your bonus round. You get over to that guy, you do that. Cool. Now we start initiative, and you rolled the highest, so you get to go again. Yeah, I so love this, because then so superheroes cool. really feel like superheroes. They get so many chances to act before the enemies. So now yeah. I'm going to do my spider strike. The character splits their attack to make two close attacks against two separate targets. Um, so I'm going to make a single melee check. Did you say close attacks? 
Oh, yes. All right, they have this ability called defensive stance. Any close attacks made against the character have trouble until they are successfully attacked in this combat. Oh, so wow. You attack. So we'll do this okay. one at a time. Roll, roll, a die, roll your three. Marvel. Okay. All right, so nice. the Marvel die, you have to reroll. Oh, oh no. Because of that? Because of that. But if yes. you roll Marvel again. Oh! oh. She oh, did wow. it. She did I'm it. not troubled at all. <laughs> nice. All right, so now let's walk through this here. Is it one attack that you compare against both of their defenses? So a single melee check and compare it to the target's melee defenses. Yep, for both. Right. On a success, um, on a fantastic success, the affected target takes full damage and is paralyzed by webbing. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Wow. Nice. That's great. Robots, they can't be paralyzed. My robots. <laughs> um, so that's 6 and 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Plus your, whatever your melee score is. Uh, that's plus 13. Oh, thank you. 13 plus. Are you, it's a melee attack? Okay. Yeah. It's not agility? No, it's a melee attack. What did you use? It wasn't webs. Punch. Mele it just says melee yeah. defense is melee check. Okay, so you're at 13. It's plus, my webs. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, 13 plus, plus whatever your plus melee five. Is. Or that's my damage. Plus five. Oh, <laughs> all right. So describe it. What did it look like? So the spider sting is like, it is punching and kicking. Like it's Spider Man like flying in and he does like a punch off one to a kick off the other. Like it's his really fast spider movements. And then in the interim, they're like distracted by his movements and he webs them too. Like in a you know like in a circle or something. Uh, awesome. And he webs them together, so that's gonna. My damage then is. All right, now what's uh, your what is your me melee damage modifier times what? Uh, times five. Make that a times three because he has damage reduction minus uh, two. Mm. And I forgot he has focus damage reduction. He has the un un oh, un so that wow. would, wouldn't have done twenty points. Doctor Doom damage. is no joke, man. Yeah. Um, so you're gonna multiply six times three plus whatever your plus five. To 23. And then doubled because it was a fantastic oh, success. Oh, yes. 46. 46 points. And, and you're paralyzed. Both. And I'm exhausted. <laughs> Troy. <laughs> I need a calculator yeah, for Troy this. Troy has been paralyzed and exhausted. Troy. The actor. Troy. The actor. <laughs> the, actor. <laughs> the actor. And that is my Troy? two turns. I'm going to be yeah. quiet. Um, all right. My Amazing. God. Okay. You know, we're still learning this. This is really only the second time we've played, but this really makes me want to play it more to get it into our bodies yeah. because it really is. Uh, there's, there's a lot going on here. Uh, especially if you had like one character and just learning them inside and out, it would be so much easier yeah, yeah. to play. Uh, all right, so now it is going to be Wolverine's turn, and then I'll tell you what, it's going to be both Doombot's turns, uh, and before She-Hulk and Juggernaut. So wait, were they flying? Yeah, they they rose up. But now they're paralyzed. So are both of them paralyzed? Or just yes. Like, okay, yeah, so they're just like, I guess they fall, yeah. Uh, do they or don't they? They fall. Uh, then he's gonna leap over the balcony <laughs> and just like ah, and come above. falling down nice. on top of them. Yeah, baby. Okay. And uh, you want to do a strike, like a jumping strike? Uh, he is going to. Oh man. Okay. Let's see. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just so much. Um, yeah, Just so you know, you can break free from the webbing on your turns. It's a melee check. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so it's paralyzed that I have the ability to break yeah, free from. Yeah, exactly. Very cool. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm just, it's a little too much for me. My brain just doesn't work. It's uh, hard. I'm going to, yeah, leap down and strike. Uh, with strike. the adamantine, with the adamantine claws, oh. Marvel die. Yes. yes, there you go. Fantastic and I've got an edge, success. so I can re-roll a one. So that is uh, that is a. Oh wait, is this 20, a close attack? Twenty-two. Is this a close attack? Oh yes. yeah. Because you uh, automatically, automatically hit them. Automatically succeed. But you get trouble. But I did the marble die. But he did the marble die. So you got to reroll the marble die. It's a close attack. You have trouble. Yeah, but he. Uh, but it's a close attack. He automatically no, no, no. I, hits I, you. I have an edge. So oh. it e it evens out. Yeah, it okay. evens out. Yeah. But it, it would change the total from twenty-two to nineteen. Against its melee defense, that's is it. it trouble which automatically they hits They haven't it. taken damage yet. No, it's trouble because what they have this thing called defensive stance, which means they uh, any close attack against them, you get you have to roll. Trouble. Anyone's yeah. okay. Even though they're paralyzed, and close attacks automatically hit them. See, I feel like that would cancel out. Is that out. what yeah. paralyzed says? Yeah. Okay, then I would say yeah, that yeah. that trumps that. So go back okay. to what you originally said. Twenty-two. To hit. All right, so uh, that is going to be seventy-eight points of damage. Oh my God. <gasps> because wow. because it's doubled. Um, well, you got to what you got to take. Did you take two off of your thing? They have dr two. No. Okay. 
I didn't do that. So that seems like a lot. I decided not to. Against <laughs> I don't a think Doom he, bot. I don't think he should. Uh, so that is 54 points of damage. Still. Okay. Do you attack the one that went that got hit already? Or the yeah. Other? Okay. The one that got hit already. So uh, 54 points of damage. Great. Then I am going to do, and I want to find this. I found it earlier. I want to do it. Um, Wait, they both got hit by me. Oh, yes, here it is. Oh, I just got chills. He's going to spend five focus. Okay. Yeah. He just yeah, guy jumps down and just like digs this thing into this robotic sort of uh, uh, exterior carapace or whatever and and knows that he damages the thing and is just such a rage. He just rips it back out and goes right back in the <laughs> same hole he was just in. Yeah. And I spend five focus for exploit as a reaction if I hit. I just attack again. Oh. And the second attack ignores all health reduction damage. Wow. Oh my god. Nice. If it hits. That's so cool. If if it hits. Uh, so that is gonna but be But it, it hits automatically. Oh, it hits oh. automatically. Yeah. It's automatically I did not roll a marvel die. Uh, so it'd just be regular damage, but it it, it does it ignores the blah blah blah, so it's yeah. thirty nine points. Nice. I'm sorry. Oh it is because I rolled a six on the marble <laughs> die. It is thirty nine. Right, you points. destroy the Doom Bot. Yes! Yes! <laughs> right yes! back into the same gap. Just yeah. Bah, bah, bah. Bah. <laughs> uh, you see the guy that created these things. Oh, it's, it's Reed Richards. He's gonna be so mad oh, at you. No. Like, no, no, my robots! My precious robots. My, my precious robots. robots. I'm I'm smart, but I'm such a jerk. You should reason with them. All right, well, it is the other Doom Bot's oh, turn. And that was awesome. He is paralyzed, so what do I have to roll here? And you have I, to roll. And I heal five hit points. Uh, oh. A melee, uh, melee, and it's got a, it, the target is a tw uh, 20. Got it. Well, actually, maybe not. 11, 14, 15, 16, 17. I did not. Yes. Use. Oh, nice. So the Doom Bot remains yes. paralyzed. But, Get uh, it, Jennifer! Since we have 15 minutes left, the other two come to life and they <laughs> turn into Doom Bots as well. So there are still three Doom Bots! No! Uh, but it is She Hulk's turn. All right, She Hulk, who has been up uh, on the, whatever, where the snipers are, sees these Doom Bots on the ground leaps up into the air and comes down with a ground shaking stomp. Yes. yes. Nice. Awesome. Hitting all of them. Yes. Awesome. Wait, does that hurt allies too? No, it just says targets. Oh, cool. So, cool. So it's uh, against, let me see, against the agility defense. Now, okay. does, are they, is anybody still? There's one that's paralyzed and then two that have just, well, actually the two have lifted up into the air now. Um, oh. So you can attack the one that's okay, on the, the ground, maybe on finish the ground. him off. Okay, the one that's on the ground. Um, God, I love this game. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so much fun. A lot of fun. So much fun. It is flying by. I know. Like, yeah. the time this is happened flying every single by. time. I know. All right, yeah. so 17 to hit is a hit. 17 to hit. Okay, uh, now for a damage reduction, is that a, a taken off of the modifier? Off the multiplier, yeah. Okay, so what's the what's two? The two? Okay, so... Um, 41 yeah. points of damage. 41 wow. 41 points yeah. of damage. Wow. You guys really do a lot of damage. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, it's Juggernaut and She-Hulk yeah. and Wolverine. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't do that much damage. Amazing. So, uh, all right. So you really, you come down, boom, shake the ground, and this guy takes a ton of damage as chunks of the floor land on top of him. And now it goes, dare I, dare I let you take a turn, Juggernaut. Oh, okay. kill him. Oh, kill him. Uh, Two are flying. One is laying on the ground. Okay. Juggernaut is going to leap off of the balcony and attempt to grab one of the ones that's one flying. One of the ones that's flying. Oh, Amazing. Yes. Yeah. Oh, awesome. <laughs> okay, I think this is just uh okay, that is a that is a 15. 15 against, uh, against melee. Their, uh, yes. Yeah, right? Uh, yeah. that is a hit. Okay. And so and then as a reaction to that, he is going to enact the uh, crushing grip. Oh, this is, I can picture this! I'm gonna spend... I love crushing uh, grip. Yeah, I'm gonna spend uh, five points of focus to do this. And I just start, it's like he's grabbing, he's pulling him down, like falling down to the ground. He's just like, just like crushing the armor. Uh, it is a regular, okay, so that is... Uh, uh, crushing grip. Yes, right? crushing grip. She-Hulk did the same thing, so yeah, what do you, the, you're just figuring out your damage? Yeah, just the damage. I'm so sorry. They I, need to I'm, make a Marvel calculator. I know. Yeah. That would be real fun. But yeah, for people like who can, haven't sure eaten a meal a in four days, I think that would be a really <laughs> <Yeah>. good <laughs> thing to have. Uh, okay, so that's... Uh, <laughs> We've eaten a single sit-down meal. <laughs> Alright, that's 80, 
Uh, what? No, no. Wait. Minus okay, two. so minus two. So uh, that's uh, 60 points of damage. Wow. 60 points of damage. All right, so that one, uh, not only does it do damage, we'll say the weight of you grabbing him. You both come to the ground, uh, and he's still up, but 60 points of damage, obviously no joke. And now one of them is on the ground. One of the other one's paralyzed on the ground by this web, and the other one is flying. It goes to the top of round two, and we're going to say it's Spider-Man's turn. All right, so my question, can Spider-Man just punch stuff? Like, can I just do a melee attack? He has never punched an enemy in the history of uh, the Marvel <laughs> That's Cinematic Universe. No, not, just be really not true. against the theme. Okay, sorry, he takes out his gun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man's gonna go! I went, to, run. I went to New Jersey! <laughs> yeah. You can Guys, get one! Like, put that away, Spider-Man! <laughs> what? I accidentally shoot it. <laughs> How does this work? Um, Spider-Man, so, put that gun down! I, I think it's yes, so cute. You can, you can punch. I think it's so cute, though. He has this, um, I'm not even gonna punch this round. You guys are so strong. And this is what he says. He has inspiration. So as a standard action, the character inspires an ally in earshot. The ally gains an edge on all attack checks until the start of their next turn. So I think he says to She-Hulk, he's like, oh, ha, uh, I'm a big fan. I, I, I know your cousin. Uh, I met him. And he's friends with Tony Stark, too. And I, Jennifer, my name's Peter. <laughs> and he puts out his hand. And I'm like, Kind of busy, but yeah, after. Let's <laughs> totally, talk totally, after. totally. We can talk later. I'm sorry. Hands full. Sorry. You're doing a great job. This is shockingly accurate. Yeah. <laughs> this is really, really good. Yeah. This is really cool. Uh, so, so you you have an edge on all your attack rolls. Amazing. Oh, that is awesome. so cool. So and that's cool. it. That's your action. That's okay. it. And he great. swings. He just swings around. Woo! <laughs> all right, Wolverine. One guy's still paralyzed in a web. One guy is uh, mixing it up with Juggernaut on the ground, and then one is still flying. Mm. And you're on the ground now. All right. So then he'll move to the, he's berserk, so he's got to go to the next closest enemy, which I assume is the one that's wrapped up in webs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, so he'll run over to, to that one, um, and, oh, interesting, okay. So a lot of his abilities are for multiple enemies. Mm. It's cool, but it's like all of these things I'm reading, I'm like, I can't really use them. And do they all have to be in like close attacks, right? Yeah, it's all like close attacks if you're surrounded by people. Yeah. We're um, doing theater of the mind, obviously, but they have maps and uh, mm -hmm. you, know, you can do tactical movement, the spaces and stuff. Uh, I don't know. I think if I ran this, as much as I like the maps, I'd probably use the maps and still use theater of the mind. Yeah, it just feels I mean, a little it's more for free. this. It's like it is so cinematic. Yeah, like, it is. Yeah. It makes the combat like. Uh, this is my most favorite game for combat. Yes. Really? Yeah, yeah. So visual. Yes. Yeah, it yeah, is. For sure. Yeah. And I just love just these like massive, you know, chunks of damage that you're able to do. It's just like, it's so fun. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. Do you wanna go after the guy who's paralyzed or by the web? You can, might be able to finish him off with a single attack. The guy in the web? Yeah, the Doombot in the web is like. You'll automatically hit him. And he looks pretty rough. Yeah, you could finish him off easily. With uh, okay, then how about I will, oh, this is interesting. He'll, he'll use his ability hit and run, which doesn't cost anything but he can make a close attack with edge on an enemy, and if the attack is a success, the enemy takes regular damage, and the character can do additional movement up to half their run speed. Oh, cool. For I free, wonder... so he moves to that one, he can attack and hit, and then move again. It'd be funny if the guy cool. sued you, and you ended up in court. Yes, uh, that would be yeah, hilarious. Defended by Jennifer Walters. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Tag team of Jennifer Walters and Matt yeah. Murdock. Your uh, Honor. That is a Marvel die. Yes! Oh. Dude is an absolute. Beast. Yeah. Uh, that is 20 to hit. And then. Uh, two it's for the damage reduction, just for posterity's sake. How much damage would that be? Two for the damage reduction. We just did this, so now I don't. Uh, 54 points of damage. Oh, really? At 49 hit points left. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. So, and he just like right through the like the neck part and the, the, the uh, uh, adamantine claws stab up I'm through the brain. Sue you. Uh, and then he will run. And he's going to move over toward She-Hulk. She-Hulk's on the ground, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could set up a fastball special. Oh, just saying. We could. Could. All right. Uh, well, so yeah, he just moves over there for now. There's two Doombots left. One of them is going to go. Uh, so am I effectively grabbed, or is it more flavor grab? Uh, I think it's, we'll just call it a flavor grab. All right, he is going to step up and, uh, like, step back from you and attempt to encase you in an elemental barrier that you'll have to break up. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. um, so I have to actually roll, and I'm taking a, a little creative liberty here. Um, the character makes an agility check and compares the results against the agility defense of you to see if he can... Uh, It'll easily make this. Trap you in there. Uh, all right, so oh, actually, I rolled pretty poorly. Four, five, six, seven, 
plus three. Yeah, if that's if that hits me. Ten? Oh, ten? No, no. Did I really roll a ten? Wow. Four, five, six, seven plus three is ten. That's ten. Yes! I have an eleven. I have an eleven oh. agility defense. Oh my god. That's so it dead. just like forms and then yeah. just pops. Well, it's funny. It's like on a success, the character chooses which side of the barrier the target winds up on. On a failure, the target chooses. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> so I failed. Where does uh, the, the other robot? The other robot. That's okay, great. I like that. All right, so now there's a wall between you and the other robot. Oh, wait. Uh, no, no, no. Actually, I want to do it against the uh, the family that Wolverine was shielding. Oh, oh. that's cool. Yeah, that's yeah. great. All right, so you redirect it somehow with like the force of your fist, and the barrier uh, goes around the yeah, family. Yeah, like punch it with my crimson bands. <laughs> family covered in she hulks blood. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's see here. I could do Flames of the Faultine. I could do Crimson Bands of Cineric. Uh, I'm going to do an Elemental Blast and spend focus uh, to do extra agility damage. I'm going to do it against Wolverine. Um, so this is going to be a ranged attack with edge and an enemy in line of sight. Uh, and I'm going to spend uh, I'm going to spend 10 points of focus, um, which would add five to the damage. Let's see. All right. I don't think I get it. Do I get edge? Uh, Elemental Blast. Rage attack with edge. Oh, this is going to be tough. Oh. So I rolled a four, two, and a five on the Marvel dog, but I want that fantastic success. I don't think you'll even hit with what you have. I'm going to roll. I got a six. You got a six, but it's not uh, the Marvel dog. 10, 11, die. 12 plus is, was that agility? Yeah. What did I say? Yeah, obviously I'm shooting it. Uh, 12 plus 3, 15 <laughs> against agility defense. Miss. Oh, oh yeah. man. You, so you re rolled a 5. I know. I, I rolled a 5 against a 6. I wanted the Marvel John. God. All right. Well, that's, <laughs> you wouldn't have even hit on a Marvel John. You had to turn. roll the other deck. All right. Well, this is what heroes do. They win She Hulk. What are you doing? Okay. This is coming down to it, right? Like, yeah. we're, we're coming down to it. So, and I want to I wanna cause a lot of damage. And I'm sorry, I don't have the fastball special. I just have a, it's like the quick tosses with one, one enemy to another enemy. I don't oh. quick talk. The, the other yeah, one is a different like, thing. It injures yeah. both of them, yeah. so it right. doesn't so work for you. So it's different from the fastball special. I don't have that one. No, everybody can do a fastball special. I think it's oh. one of those teamwork. It's features. just oh, a general gotcha, ability. Gotcha, gotcha. It's not a oh, feat. It's not I a power. Really, okay. really? I feel like I have to, as she can do, do this it, yeah. one time during the game, which is my last shot now. I'm going to spend extra focus. I'm going to spend 30 focus to add <laughs> bonus points to my damage as I do jump to the because there's one guy up in the sky up in the up in the uh, air one guy's flo uh, floating yeah, up one in the guy's air still floating, yeah. okay the guy floating up in the air i'm gonna jump up and with my fists i'm gonna smash him down to the ground <laughs> yes yes amazing awesome. okay. a, hul a hulk smash a hulk, a hulk smash, smash. A she -hulk hulk smash. smash. hulk's about to smash hulk, <laughs> yes. she hulk smash a she hulk smash. uh so i'm going to uh roll to hit first okay uh It's so 12 hard now. Plus, this was the one. 12 uh, is 12, his. No, no, no. 12 plus. Uh, his melee defense is 12. Five. So you're. Oh, right. okay. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Dr. Um, Doom's stats are in ego and logic. Yeah. So yeah. High yeah. ego, high logic. Uh, and he's got very good powers. Except I rolled a one on the Marvel die. So you rolled a Marvel. Oh yeah, shit! That's, yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! That that's means that. Oh my god! Okay. Yeah. That's a fantastic. That's a fantastic. Success. He takes double yeah. this. Okay. Oh my god! It probably so has on. since that's a power. It probably has an extra thing attached to it. it probably says on a fantastic. Yeah. Success. It takes double the total damage. So let me roll you up kill the. His okay. Family, oh, hold on. Hold on. Right. The total damage. So use your hold modifier. On, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> so forty. Because I spent extra focus. It's two. It's. Uh, Sorry six, to make more math for you, but remember it's, it's a damage reduction of two. Oh, okay, so... Um, Marvel calculator. Okay, yeah. 36 <laughs> plus 25. It's going to be so much damage. She-Hulk! 122 there points. There you go. See? I mean, you... Of uh, hulking damage. <laughs> I'm not fudging for time here. You of annihilate them. smashing oh, my damage. Oh, God. They had that a total awesome. of 120 hit Just points. Oh, my God. Springs <laughs> and glass and gears and, like, all this stuff. All right, so you reach up the, the doom bot that's flying. I jump up. Jump up, come <laughs> down on him. <laughs> down down to the ground. Just shatters into a million pieces. Reed Richards is crying in the corner. My <laughs> greatest creation. And don't forget your plus one from me, your friend, Peter oh, Parker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your old pal, Peter Parker. There's one doom bot left. I'll look over to Peter and just give him a wink. <laughs> He's giving you two big thumbs up. One doom bot left, and it's Juggernaut's turn. I'm, I'm giving him the victory. Like, thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. it's my friend. 
Uh, I am going to spend 50 points of focus. Holy shit. <laughs> <Holy laughs> <Holy laughs> <laughs> 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 to do a smash. And I have, I'm big too, and I've got my, so I have, I have the reach. I'm going to try it. I'm going to grab the, the he's, he's flying, right? Yeah. I'm going to grab him like by his leg and smash him down into the floor of the museum. Oh okay. my gosh. All right. Great. Yeah, this one we'll say is the one you were tangling with. You started to go back up again. You grab him and smash him. Okay, uh, that is a 22 to hit. <laughs> that is definitely a okay, hit. Okay, and it's two two damage reduction. Yeah. Okay, so that's... Uh, da, 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 da. Um, that is 240 points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, my... I mean, a million pieces the last two months. <laughs> Shatters to the ground. <laughs> I'm the juggernaut! Through the ground to the basement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As they smash <laughs> the down and I disappears. And I would assume, uh, really impressed She Hulk. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you think? oh no, she's yeah. noticing. 240. Yeah. She's like, she's what, like are what, are you, what are you doing <laughs> after this? Oh, I was just going to go reform myself some more. <laughs> do you want to, I mean, do you want to grab a drink before you go reform yourself? Oh, uh, why, well, shucks, Missy. I, I think I'd like that a real bushel of goodness amount lots peter leans over to logan do you do you want to hang out after get away from me sorry (laughs) (laughs) sorry mr logan (laughs) and uh slowly we we pan out of there and we see that dr tomb was right all along as these superheroes have destroyed the museum of modern art yes we did it killed several people we did it we destroyed several precious paintings killed several innocent people (laughs) a lot of people this game obviously we're still stumbling through still dealing with the math but it is we're not just saying this it is a fantastic role-playing game and i can't wait to play more of it and uh, i'll tell you what rumor is we will be playing more of it very very soon so uh stay on the lookout Buy this at your local gaming store or online as soon as possible. It's everything you could want in an RPG. Thanks to Marvel. We will be Thank back you. in 15 minutes with the last show of Gen Con. Last show of Gen Con. It's one encounter. It's one encounter. We're Once back that's to over, Pathfinder 2. We're going home. Folks, we'll see you in a minute. Thank you, everybody.